What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Colum Tyrrell podcast. It's me, your host, the the host, <laughs> Colum <laughs> Tyrrell. And um, do us a favor: if you're listening, if you're watching, uh, consider of heading consider heading over to patreoncom slash Colum Tyrrell, and um, you'll get extra episodes every week. We got back, we got a whole backlog of episodes from my old episodes that are up there. And um, there's video, there's audio, there's a whole lot of stuff there. Uh, if you're enjoying what you're listening. Consider heading over. It's not that much. It starts at just five dollars a week, and we are growing all the time. And we appreciate everyone that is helping to grow this podcast. We're getting new mics. We're getting new computers. We're getting new screens and um, mics uh, that I just said again. Um, mm-hmm. But we're growing all the time. So um, thank you so much for everyone that has helped grow this podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, consider hitting um, subscribe. It, it costs absolutely nothing. It takes about five seconds to do that. And um, like I'm saying, it doesn't cost anything, but we are helping to grow. Where things are crushing right now, the numbers are through the roof. The last couple of fucking weeks, we are crushing it. We got I got uh, the glove star here. What's up, Johnny? Hey guys, Johnny's here with on the God look, uh, the God uh, mic today. Just so you know, I'm on tour right now with Mike Rainey and Tim Budley of uh, Deadry. Uh, sorry, Dead Meat. And uh, so we're coming up. We've got Buffalo coming up. We got Philadelphia coming up. We got Detroit coming up. Cleveland. Austin, we're going to add Houston. We're still waiting for that ticket to get um, live. We got Indianapolis coming up. We got Raleigh in um, North Carolina. I think it's North Carolina. It's one of the Carolinas. So um, all of those uh, tickets are available right now. They're in the description, whether you're listening or watching on YouTube. Uh, consider buying yourself a ticket. Buy some, bring, bring some friends. It's a, um, it's a fucking good, it's a good fucking fun event. So, uh, thank you. Um, things are crushing. The, the, glo- Johnny, the summer's out. Hell yeah. Summer is out. Yep. So, broads, the broads are out. The skin is back. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's a, there's a beautiful time in New York where the, where the weather sucks. So, I don't know what, you know, you've been like 20, 20 degrees, mm-hmm. mat- um, 20 degrees um, temperatures and... Yeah, it's broken now. So every year, St. Patrick's Day is the day. From Christmas to St. Patrick's Day is the is the horrible, cold, shitty time. Oh, yeah. And and New York stinks. It's dirty. You just everyone smells. There's a lot of fucking. Uh, there's homeless guys just shitting in in <laughs> in the train, and it's it's cold. <laughs> and it's just a horrible. And then everyone looks horrible because they're all like dressed like. Um, you know, Eskimos or mm-hmm. w- whatever the proper term yeah. is. Yeah. Enuites? What Inuit. are they called? Yeah, a couple yeah. of Enuites? Inuit. Yeah. You know how these Enuites are, dude. <laughs> these, these, the, 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 <laughs> the Enuites are walking around. They got their hoods up. They're, they're, they're living in igloos. It's, it's, it's a chaos. And then today is the day. St. Patrick's Day happens tomorrow, but that's the, that is the sign of the, of the summer is starting. Mm. And today is the day. There's leggings out. There's legs out. There's tits out. And it doesn't even matter. They're, they're ugly women. There's a lot of ugly women, but it's just it, it's just a nice little there's just a little something going on. <laughs> Everyone's smiling, you know. Sure, people are getting stabbed to death, but the sun is fucking shining. The war- people are wearing shirts. People have their their legs out. It's a nice it's a nice um, moment when this happens. Now, the, Ireland get or sorry, New York gets suck. New York sucks again, but there's just when it starts to change. It's a very particularly nice. Mm little moment going on in this city so the yeah. the, the whole country we survived the whole yeah. city survived the whole the, there's a few months where we just all sit around we hate it it's raining people are slipping on snow hitting their heads off the ground and mm-hmm. uh, people are crashing their cars it, it just just it's a it's a horrible place to live new york <laughs> it's a real disgusting hellhole mm-hmm. hellhole and um so it's a it's a beautiful day and shout out to all the women just looking as beautiful as you do, showing off a little bit of like I know, like I'm, I don't mean it. Sometimes it can come across a little bit misogynistic to be like, "Yo, I'm a big fan of the 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 way women look," <laughs> right? <laughs> sometimes you can. I don't think that's a ba- bad thing to say. People like they often start to say like, "Oh, are you saying that you don't like their personality?" It's like I'm not saying that, but. I, that is kind of what I'm saying is like uh, yeah I'm more into your a stranger's body than their opinions 
mm. right? Have you ever tried to get to know someone you don't know? Chaos. They they're just they they have they have, they have trauma from their from their childhood. They're poor. They have weird ha- like habits where they where they just you know they'll have extra mayonnaise on their fries or whatever. You know, like anytime you get to know anyone, you're like you're a fucking psychopath. But when you see a nice pair of tits on the street, you don't need to know any. That's like just a beautiful thing to know. You don't need to learn what's going on with that person. You just get to see them and be like, wow, look at you. Look at you. Look at you, a little human with a pussy. Wow. Wow. The the world's all right. I'm telling you, things are turning around. I think crypto's going to come back. I think the world, I think Houston, um, I think Russian, Russia and Ukraine is going to stop. I feel like that's just, I just have a feeling. Don't, don't, don't back, don't, don't bet on this, but I have a feeling. I feel like Putin's on it, like, just like, ah, I'm sorry about that. But I'm telling you, the sun is out. You see a couple of pairs of tits, your life is changing. There's no such thing as any bad pr- problems when um, there's bodies on the line. Um, so shout out to all the ladies um, who are prov- dressed provocatively on the street right now. It's really um, helping us um, survive, us men. And I got blocked um, on Twitter. Did, did did you see this, Johnny? I was telling you a little bit earlier on. Yeah, yeah. But I I had this a little back and forth. It's not a huge story, but I'll tell you about it anyway. So you know me, I'm on Twitter. Follow me at Colum Tyrrell across all social media, um, networks, social media networks. So um, I guess I didn't even know who this guy was, mm-hmm. but it just popped up on my timeline, and it was um a guy called Jason Ritter whose father is John Ritter, mm. famous actor, um, Three's Company, correct? Yep. Um, 12 Simple Rules for Dating My Teenage Daughter. Right. Yep. Remember? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it was that. Do we, and I think Clifford. he... Clifford. Clifford? Yeah, was that a different Clifford. show? No, it was a movie. Yeah, he was in Clifford, like Big big Red Clifford, like no, the Big Dumb Dog. With Martin Short, some weird... Comedy. He was in that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was in Bad Santa. Yep. But he was, yep. when he was in the 12 rules to date my daughter, that was when the blonde girl, the girl who eventually got on to be um, in, the, in, the, in that TV show, that really bad show about the, um, the, like the geeks. You know the nerds? There's a, there's a TV show about these nerds. You know what I'm talking about? It's oh, one of the most popular shows of all time. Theory? The Big Bang Theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she, you, she was like one of those hot teens back mm-hmm. in the day. It was, it was fine because she's older than me. Right. right, but I remember being thinking when she was like fifteen, just like holy shit, this is the greatest woman. <laughs> she was one of those replacements. You did, did you ever, when they used, to, I don't know if they still do that when they have a sitcom and then it's like two years in, they just replace, right. they just place yeah, the yeah. actress right. without, yeah, they don't say anything. Mm-hmm. You and then you're just like, all right, I guess they were both hot. The other one was right. a smoke show too. <laughs> oh man, you just don't get enough. You do waste your youth doing things, mm-hmm. and there was a time. When I was 14 or whatever, and I would like finger 14 year olds, you know, that was like a thing that you would do. Mm-hmm. Right? All right. Yeah. yeah. Are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> Am I losing you? <laughs> no. And you would, and you would finger these women. And then one day you got too old to do it anymore. You're, you graduate college, you're ahead, you're almost in your thirties. You can't be fucking fingering youth anymore so you gotta hang up so i'm just saying you gotta appreciate that time when you can right so if you're a young kid watching this chaos if you are watching this that's scarring that's a that's a horrible thing to even uh, spend your time doing but make sure you use it while you can you'll never get an opportunity to fuck a 14 year old you'll never like you'll like like legally and and you need to jerk off to these people because like even though here's the here's the weird here is the gray area, right? So I was 13, right? And I'm watching some show about a 16-year-old actress, right? And I'm and I'm wanking. I'm a young 13-year-old boy wanking. Mm. Am I still a le- I've already done it and now I'm too old, but it's a video <laughs> of she was 16 at the Am I am I still allowed to go back and like well I've already you know what's the <laughs> what's the what's going on? I'm just not allowed to do it. Johnny, what would you say, yes or no? Uh, I don't know. Probably ask a, you know, member of the clergy. Oh yeah, they 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 always let you know. They'll always they'll always fucking point you in the right direction. I'm just saying, if if you know, let's say, 
<laughs> let's say, let's say when I was fourteen and I got jerked off by an, another fourteen-year-old girl, mm. or or just like a like a as a, am I allowed now, as a thirty-one-year-old, almost thirty-two-year-old, am I allowed to still remember that jerking off and like, am I allowed to jerk off to that, or is that like gone now, like I mentally? Know. What's the what's the what's the correct answer here, John? I think you're allowed if it's in your own head. Do if it's in your you own head, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> cut this. This is we're fucked. This whole episode we're fucked. Get out of here. We're just riffing, guys. We're just having a good time here. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it, if you've already done it. Yeah, I guess if I pretend that I'm 14 in my in my mind, I guess, it's just, a, I, you, you really shouldn't have a podcast and you really shouldn't talk about this type of stuff. That's all I know. I know that's the only answer I know. Anyway, so John Ritter's son posted this thing on Twitter. I never even heard of the guy. And he tweeted this about his wife. And his wife is some actress that I don't know. She was in um, the one with Charlie Sheen, uh, Two and a Two Half, half Man. man. Yeah, yeah. She was the crazy girl that was in love with Charlie, and she used to like piss in his cornflakes and stuff like that. And she <laughs> she would come in his she would she would jerk off into his cookies, and then give him cookies. And then he tw- he tw- he posted this. He goes, "I am sorry to do this, and she will be embarrassed that I didn't that I did." And I will be embarrassed that I did this, but my goodness, what an absolute beaut my wife is. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but I mean, look at this human being who, look at this human being who is also the best person I know. Okay, sorry again, good night, that's enough from me, but also fire, big eyes emoji thing. First of all, mm-hmm. The way he writes is like a fucking 12-year-old retard. It's mm-hmm. fucking chaos out there. There's no full stops. There's like fucking... It just It's it's all just one sentence and randomly there's a full stop out of nowhere. Then there's spaces. It's like you're way too old to be tweeting. Like, it's like, why you, did you just record this into your phone? But I just... All I shared was, this guy is cheating. That's all my... I saw that and I just shared. I go, this guy is cheating. That was it. I didn't leave it to be... Because there's something weird... There's something creepy about a guy who's famous to be tweeting to the world like, yo, I'm in love. Mm-hmm. I love my wife. Look how hot she is. <laughs> Which is like, whatever. Yeah, sure, she's hot. You know, she's hot to you, I guess. But like, no, no offense to her, but like, the, the idea of writing some random poetry bullshit thing to let the world know how much you love your wife, there's something wrong. <laughs> That's not correct behavior. Like you can do even if it, even if if she was to do that about your husband or your boyfriend, again you gotta go. What are you doing? <laughs> Something's not right. People don't do this on purpose. No one goes on Twitter and talks about how much they're in love with the fucking their soulmate. It's like it's it's sick. <laughs> it's like it's like just chaos. It's a lie, and they're they're, they're up to no truth. They're up to no good. It's ca- it's just bizarre. I can't even imagine a world. It's like even on my like on my girl's birthday, I'm like, holy shit, I'm not tweeting this. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. I barely even tweet that and like going to like the fucking you know great fucking great defense today by the fucking uh, New Orleans Saints or whatever. Like even that, I'm just like, what are you tweeting about? But the idea of go- going nuts as if, if you're in love for a week, right? That's the way it is. There's a lot of lust. You find someone, you 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 get together, and then and then you uh, then that wears off pretty fast, and then you can stay together. But you're not you're not waking up happy. No one's happy. No, one, they're just not. This is the problem with is like I didn't re- I thought he was just a random guy who was married to this girl, and then I, then I found out his dad's famous. So now it actually makes more sense that someone like that would be tweeting like that because he's obviously. Raised weird. You can't be raised with your parents being celebrities. And then he's, as an actor, actors are all fucking spastics too. So they they constantly have to break down past. They gotta they gotta get in. They gotta break down whatever their um, what be the word? Whatever they're hiding. You know what I'm saying? Mm. They gotta break down um, 
What's, what's the way I'm trying to say this, Johnny? You know, they got to try. Skeletons in their closet? Yeah, of course. They're, 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 they're going and Demons. getting lessons and they got to they gotta like really dig deep into their soul and stuff like mm-hmm. that. And it's, it's not okay. That's also not a thing. You should never do that. You're supposed to have a, a guard up. You're supposed to really protect yourself. <laughs> yeah. You're not supposed to allow yourself to be able to cry on demand. Mm. That's a bad sign. Vulnerability. The yeah. vulnerability of actors is chaos out there. <laughs> they're like they're really weak. <laughs> they're they're a real weak group of people. Go walking around. You know they're rich. They're doing fucking. They're they're doing poppers. Mm. They're, they're they're channeling like this raw emotion. It's like it's a real waste of fucking time. The idea of being able to do that when you're like a truck driver or something makes me sick. Mm. You should never be like that. Anyway, <laughs> I was only fucking around and then he went and blocked me. So then I tweeted, I was only joking, bro. Guess I was right. Sorry, man. Never meant to rat you out. Not my star. And then everyone was like, he is cheating. He's definitely <laughs> cheating. He's got to be. I, he did something. Yeah. Something's not right. He is, he had a, he's either cheating on her, got caught, or he's gay. And then she's like, that. it's Beard. like just like a thing that they set up. Mm-hmm. I've never even heard of the guy. <laughs> Anyway, uh, that was just a little bit of waffle before we started the episode today. Um, two of my good friends are coming in, Tommy Pope and Chris O'Connor from Stuff Island. They've got a great podcast out available. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. It will be uh, in the link below. I did their podcast a couple of weeks ago, and they're about to come in now. We're going to have a few drinks. We're going to hang out and have some fun. So um, listen, thank you very much, and enjoy the rest of the episode. Good luck. You, when you say nonchalant... Yeah. Is it possible to be chalant? Yeah. yeah. No. It's always a... No yeah. one's ever said, oh, that's very chalant. Very chalant. They they the probably ver- did it one time, and then they, they, they decided that wasn't a fun to, thing to say. Yeah, they probably bullied they, them into, the into actual words. Let's just get the chalant. They decided... They, the let's chalant get the chalant. Let's open chalant with the chalant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're being very, being he's non-chalant. being very chalant. Yeah. He's, you're being very nonchalant about this process right that, now. Well, see, that's what I think chalant got went by the wayside because Cavalier is better. Yeah, like, Cavalier, oh, Cavalier is better. With the fucking, it's got its own car. Yeah, Cavalier. Just, the Chevy Cavalier? Here. Yeah. Dynamite car in the 90s. Can you say I'm, I'm non-Cavalier? I wouldn't. You can you be wouldn't. a non-Cavalier. Out of respect for my parents, I wouldn't say something so stupid. <laughs> but yeah, you could say non-Cavalier. Yeah, yeah. chalant's a word. Kempt, unkempt, chalant. Nonchalant, cavalier, yeah. non-cavalier. Yeah. Now you lost the last one. Uncavalier, non-cavalier, re-cavalier, re. Oh, you. I re-cavaliered. Oh, okay. I re. You're that. leveling up, dude. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, twice. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm you cavaliering. To, yeah, yeah. I'm cavaliering all over the place. Yeah. You are caring you, way too much. You <laughs> <laughs> You're cavaliering this whole podcast I you, right now, I dude. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm not one for words. I gotta yeah. tell you. Neither way. I wouldn't be. Yeah. yeah. You can't fake that. Being Word, one for words, yeah. it's a yeah. fucking that's that's a heavy burden, you know. Because if you start off on that on that process, going like I'm a vocabulary guy, oh, yeah. oh my god, they're the it's worst people in the fucking world. Those yeah. people who are like get a new, learn a new word every day, uh, and they're like, yeah. I have to use it, yeah, during the course I, of this. Yeah. Stephen A. Smith was like that, yeah. Where every time you'd see him, he'd be using a word. You're like, dude, you just read that today. We had a friend that would do that on stage for like jokes, yeah. And I'm like, you're making the whole audience go white guy. Or- White guy. White guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it's like, are you, are you trying to impress people with your vocab? Like it's yeah. fucking I always, 11th grade prior I, to SAT testing? It's. I know you've been reading a small Bible of yes. all the books, that uh, all the words that are yeah. going to be in the test. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind. I don't mind if it's consistent though. The problem is, is when it's very clearly the word of the day. Yeah. Yes. And he's just like, yes. Yo, this motherfucker nonchalant. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah, what? yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like me going, I just used the bathroom. It's very slapdash. And people yeah. are like, what? It's like sloppy. Yeah. Slapdash. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, know, you got a calendar at home. You rip a fucking, you know, one of those. <laughs> yeah, the advent yeah, calendars. Yeah, 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 where you like <laughs> you, you open it every day. It's like, yeah. hey, try this one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. precocious. I can't yeah, even like pretend. December sixteenth. Here's <laughs> a chocolate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> those Pont- things rolled. Dude. Pontification. Those, yeah, those you do. grow up white trash. Advent calendars, like you get a fucking oh, release yeah. of endorphins. Opening one of those little cabinets. Yes. Those cardboard little fucking windows. Yeah. Ooh. Oh yeah. yeah Give me a chocolate. jelly bean on the fucking seventeenth. I'm good. Yeah. I haven't had one in a while. I'll I'm get a, you an advent calendar. I'm gonna get a little word of the day thing. A word, nah. yeah, just a little word of the day. I like that. No, no, and, I like that. It'd be like women's rights. <laughs> Fuck that. Yeah, yeah. Show, yeah. Show. <laughs> no, that, what's the next one? What's yeah, the that, next one? That chocolate's bad. <laughs> <laughs> this one went bad. <laughs> like a woke advent calendar. Yeah. <laughs> uh.
that's everyone is just like, oh, yeah. I yeah. guess I'm the devil again. Yeah. Every time, it's, fuck you, Whitey. Yeah. Every fourth day, it's like you can't say that. You just, it's, <laughs> that's, it's not I, even a word. It's just, a just wo- already fucking warning you. Don't say it. Don't say it. I know you're thinking about it. Don't say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a chocolate if you don't say yeah. it. <laughs> you want some sugar, you racist freak? <laughs> no, we're in the middle of Lent. You guys give up Lent? No. Down but for Lent? Lent? Jesus Christ. The last time you I did give that. Up Lent. You gave up Lent for Lent? <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving up, giving up stuff. Yeah, yeah. That used to be a, the, like they run a joke when we were kids. Yeah. Someone always go, I'm giving up, giving up stuff. Yeah. yeah. That, was like, that was like the go-to joke when we were eight. Yeah. I, I remember just... I remember like it was one of the first jokes that annoyed me as like a kid. Do you ever do like, Lent? You. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a big fan of discipline. <laughs> <laughs> what? You, you, yeah, listen, you, know you, what? you think I wake up like this? Yeah. Look at this room. I had to paint that blue. Yeah, that's paint why the... when you did our podcast, you showed up painted up in your face. I, I was covered in... Yeah, yeah. Check out Stuff Island. I did yeah. an episode. I was covered in blue paint. That's you the literally paint. had paint on your ears. That's the paint. You did it, a lot of work. This place looks great. It'd be very funny if I was just late to your podcast, and so I made up that I was painting. Yeah, and that's then, what I said to you. Then, you didn't yeah, get the joke. actually what we oh. assumed, yeah. yeah. Well, we I showed just, up late yeah. here, and I was like, sorry, we were painting our studio. You were like, all good, man. Oh, yeah. We don't have a studio. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to bring that up. I had it written yeah. down. We filmed in the living room. Oh, that's yeah, why yeah, I kept yeah, bringing yeah, it up. Yeah. Yeah. And, you, and, then, and then he's like, I don't even know if we're going to build a studio. And yeah. I was like, well, now he was lying yeah. to me. I didn't even say it. Went, <laughs> and you were afraid to address it. You're like, oh, yeah, dude. You lie. were very cavalier about the whole fucking situation. Yeah, yeah. I was nonchalant. Yeah. <laughs> I was quite <laughs> We were nonchalant about our show up time. I'll tell you that. Yeah, you were really... Well, yeah. we were at the bar and the guy gave us an extra beer. Yeah, it got slapped out. Yeah, we, yeah. we had to drink it. There's no way. That's, is that why you're that's late? <laughs> Shut up. What you guys are are cunts. No, I had, to char- I had to charge my phone to make sure we're yeah. taking the right train. Yeah. <laughs> no, we were, we were about to leave on time. Yeah. You know, I, can't, I can't leave with 30% battery. Uh, we gotta, you what am I going to do? Yeah. We're we hitting were the whole horn up. for the Irish. We were closing up and the guy just handed us two fresh beers and it was like, ah, what, well. You can't turn it down. Yeah. Can't yeah. leave. We this, yelled yeah. at him. We told him, "Fucking yeah. do yeah. it again." I, I, had a bad, I, had a, I had a rough one last night. Um, I ended up staying here late. I was working and stuff like that, but I got home late, and you know, it was like dinners on the table. Like it was like it's supposed to be like a nice dinner. Oh no! Oh, you know, no. it's like out of a movie. Wait, you're in like, a you're in a cold dinner state right now. I'm, I came home last night, and the candles like, are blown out. Yeah, the dinner was there. It was like a special St. Patrick's Day meal because I'm never home. You know. By the way, a meal I didn't fucking ask for. First, uh, first of all, no. first of all, it wasn't for me. First of all, <laughs> not for me. I don't remember being asked what I wanted. The word yeah, "special St. Patrick's Day meal" has never been said. <laughs> dude, there's no. nothing special. I promise Listen, you, nothing special. I don't offer. The opposite of sex, much, but having like I am kind of exotic to yeah. a degree. Well, so you're, you're, I'm you're not exotic, but you're actually yeah, you weird. Are, you are a little certainly exotic. being weird is, is like the best I can offer. Yeah, so like St. Patrick's Day is like, hey, I've got an Irish boyfriend. Sure, right. he, he has a small dick and can't get hard. Yeah, but we get to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's like part of the thing. Yeah, and then dude. I'm like, I'm like, fuck this fucking holiday, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> dude. There is nothing worse than when you're like behind in a relationship, like you're you've been fucking up for a while, and no. then they do something nice like that, and it's yeah. just like don't do anything yeah. else. Oh, because now don't I, do another. Now nice I gotta pick thing. it up. I gotta pick it yeah, up. Yeah, you're just digging me a hole. Yeah. If you didn't yeah. have that accent, you know, if you spoke like me, you'd be a virgin until you die, dude. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, I love you, but I was banging on Irish chicks. Yeah, of course. Would you fall into him? <laughs> As he, he said, he said for burping. <laughs> yeah, all you gotta do is walk out I of was, a bar door. I was bang. Yeah, I was bang. <laughs> they love it. They love it, dude. It's the <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a charm. Have a good look. You yeah. do have a good look. Yeah, I do appreciate very your demeanor. rough around the edges. You got a great demeanor. Demeanor? Yeah, your demeanor is is so right, you. Can there just be a meaner, or does it have to be demeaning? Yeah, yeah we're demeaning you right now, dude. All right. You true. know what I mean by that? Like you have like a you have a certain. <laughs> you know what I say? <laughs> you know what I mean? When Why I is say he not we're getting what I mean? Demeaning you right now? It's no, like, like the you, most condescending. I know, sentence but that, I don't know. Do you else? understand what I'm saying? <laughs> when, I, when I say I'm demeaning yeah. you, do you have any idea yeah. what that fucking means? Because if you don't, how you're wrong. <laughs> My point is, you you embody you so wholeheartedly, because some people awesome. are faci- <laughs> no, some people are fake. Like, a lot of people would people be very are- self conscious if they were you. <laughs> you know what I like about you? You turn a blind eye to all your faults. Oh, you're fucking unique, and you. Yeah. It's a real no, like. You you're are- so brave. <laughs> this is funny. You have to know Tommy kind of well. To, Tommy. To, Tom- to, to, 
to Dude. even know that he's complimenting yeah, you sometimes. Yeah, Tommy's a contrary sorry, away from right? calling me I'm brave. Yeah. Because any I'm other so- person who was like, <laughs> it's just crazy. You're so committed to whatever that is. <laughs> I love the way you carry yourself. Yeah, you're, you're like and a chick a, who's yeah. like, I would never wear. I love the way I love the way you wear stuff that I would never wear. <laughs> yeah. No, dude. I appreciate someone that is uh, a thousand percent unique and okay. themselves. Yeah. As a, a, a supreme individual. Yeah, right? yeah. I'd rather a person that isn't attempting to be something outside of their boundaries yeah. or their capabilities, yeah. mm-hmm. whether it's with their brains or their fucking fashion or fucking their personality. Everyone, yeah. for the most part, is trying to be something different, elevate themselves, yeah. their personality. Right. When you meet someone that's just like, that dude's been in his lane for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I respect that more than trying to be something different. Right. Cause you can it, see hmm. all the fucking, you know, the you. decorations on someone's body or their personality. You're like, yeah. you're not being real. I like, that's a prison. They just built themselves yeah. a prison. Yeah. I like, I have it's ten- like, you're going to have to manufacture this for the rest Forever. of your life. You're yeah. wearing it's a hell. costume yeah, yeah. for the rest of your fucking life. I like, I tend to like, uh, dickheads and pricks you know like a like someone who's a real asshole you're <laughs> yeah. like yeah. I, there's something that always draws me to them because i'm get like, out i swear i swear, <laughs> <laughs> i love an asshole <laughs> no but it's because you know people who are super nice and friendly and you're always just like what are you, you're scary they, it's not there's a good chance they're lying where yeah. someone's yeah. a cunt they're not pretending to be a shithead yeah. they're like who they are and you yeah. go all right i like this prick. yeah yeah, 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 everyone hates this guy, but I like him because he's just a fucking shithead. Most of life, I feel like is 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 figuring out that exact, that exact like, I don't know if it's like a fucking. The reason, like my dad, I always wonder why he doesn't have friends, right? Yeah, and the older Indeed. he got, the more he was less likely to hang out with his siblings. Yeah, or the he had golf buddies. I was like, nah. Now, you just get to an age where you're going, I don't want to pretend that I like this mm. dude at all. Yeah. So then you start to, you draw a line. I think that's also like fucking having kids, having a wife. Eventually, you're just like, dude. I don't have time. The risk reward of hanging out with someone. 100%. Like, it might not go well. I know that if I'm just by myself in the basement, yeah. I'm going to have a nice time. Yeah. You said this yeah. so many times, dude. Go, like, growing up, I would, I, I, I felt bad for, like, adults eating alone. Oh, yeah, yeah. At a bar. No. no. Dude's going to, dude, I would see, like, an older man going to the movies by himself. I'm oh, like, that's what? a child predator. And then I got older, <laughs> I was like, these guys got to figure it out. Yeah, yes. this guy knows. I only have two hours a lot yeah. in a week. He's I'm like, going to spend it. I'm watching a movie I want to watch. Yes. I'm, not, I'm not going with some fuck. I'm Nobody not compromising. Else. You compromise, yeah. you both end up watching a movie you don't want to watch. Yeah. I don't have to buy anyone else popcorn and candy. Right. I, just yeah. get I know I want soda. goobers. Yeah. I know I want, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know I don't want my popcorn a certain buttered way. I don't have to go, well, what do you yeah. want? You want, yeah. you want a jujubee? Fuck yeah, out yeah. no of gonna... The old man at the, at the diner eating alone, you're like, look at him. His wife died 10 years ago. He's never been happier. He's just sitting there, orders what he wants. He doesn't have to hear anything. Yeah, meanwhile, his wife made him dinner and he's He's like, where are you, honey? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I was painting my studio. <laughs> He's, Sorry, uh, the movie ran late. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah ba- the new Batman, seven hours, baby. That'd be great if you showed up late for a dinner made for you because you were like at the cinema. Yeah. <laughs> not even a good excuse. It's like, ah, it's a good movie. You know what, what do you want from Did me? she make dinner for you often? Sometimes. No, I don't know often. She would make it every night. If she's I was great. Around, but I'm oh, never really? around. I know yeah. this girl. She's a wonderful woman. She's all right. Yeah. yeah. She's, she's gonna find love someday. Yeah. yeah she, <laughs> she'll find a guy who's <laughs> good to her someday. <laughs> yeah. I know that guy's out there. <laughs> You'll find a barber. Every time too. I see her, it's like, you're so amazing. You need to find that guy who's gonna yeah, appreciate Yeah, he's gonna it. appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. I feel like he's that's gonna always show in, up for dinner. That's always right? in the fucking the back pocket. For guys in this industry, it's like, you'll find somebody that's going to treat you better. Uh, yeah, well, it's like... <laughs> so, I love a, you so much, I got to get rid of you. Yeah. Because it's, no, it's true, though. Yeah, like, you, I, I we had this go. conversation on the street not too long ago. Yeah. I have a theory that, like, guys... <laughs> Why did you mention it was on the street, by the way? Yeah, yeah. Well, because we were walking. This it's is important. when we fucking fought. Yeah, this wasn't an in-house talk. <laughs> <laughs> this is when it gets Different real. Energy. This, we were on the, yeah, yeah. We're at the park. We were on the fucking street. We were at the, the park? We were yeah. between the park and yeah. the house. No, we were on the street. Just there was no park in sight. When you when you walk on the street and talk with your boy, your eyes are locked ahead. If you look, you start losing concentration of what you want to say. 
Because then yeah, yeah. emotions are being fucking shot back and forth yeah, through the eyeballs, intimate. the brains, and the heart. That's, why, that's, why, that's, why, that's why they do confession and priests. They don't right. want to exactly, do a hundred percent. Telling you. So you walk with your boy down the street. You're going to say things you, you wouldn't normally say because it's like you're talking to yourself if you're just looking forward. Yeah. There we yeah. go, babe. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. I got I a theory. You. Okay. My theory is every man or woman mm -hmm. is capable of being a romantic. Okay. So if you're not romantic to that person, and then that person finds somebody else that's willing to toss out the romance on a random night, making you dinner, buying you flowers, all these things, yeah. it's just innate. It's innate within all of us that maybe that person just didn't want to do it for you. So you meet someone, you're going, "This isn't my, this is not my, you know, mm. my caliber of." the not just woman but like relationship that i think i want to go far and beyond for so then you get caught in this like realm of like mediocrity and like laziness lazy fair cavalier yeah but see that's the thing with chicks is they want a guy that would ordinary like they want someone who they wouldn't think would be romantic to be romantic maybe maybe yes. that's like a total turnaround not, women, no, don't, that's, women that's, don't want this, this pussy romantic guy showing up with flowers. That's not that's true. That's what I'm saying. If that's you that's got not true. They don't. Yeah. I think... They just don't. Dude, to summarize... Depends on the guy. I think if you meet someone... Yeah, if you've got a guy that you look at and you go, this guy has bought flowers for every girlfriend he's ever had. Right. Then you go, I don't give a fuck about any of this. He's True. making me dinner. I don't give a fuck. When you, when you look, when you look, when you, <laughs> putting it out. It's I don't give a guy. fuck about this queer. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, care. Yeah. No, it's, it's true. Fussy. I don't, I don't give a shit. me another yeah, bacon, yeah, leg, and cheese. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Is that the way it works? So, what? You no. Know, you just, if, if, no. They've, if they've been nice to exes, you're like, fuck this. Fuck. Yeah, uh, with, yeah, I mean, I know women pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just a <laughs> You couldn't even not laugh through that. <laughs> Let me summarize this he's really a, quick. He's a PUA, as well, we call him. What I'm yeah. saying is every person is capable of being a heightened level of themselves for the other person if they want to be that person for that person. Right. Mm. Meaning they, they think that person is worth it. A guy like yourself that always talks down to yourself about like, I'm not that guy. Well, if you met somebody, not saying your current girl's not that person, but like you, you might shift going, I'm going to think of something quietly simple on a daily basis, like thinking like, oh, this might be nice. This might be, or a weekly basis, monthly basis. All of a sudden you start doing simple things mm. and they're so thoughtful. Cause I've been in relationships where women do very thoughtful things. Mm. And I'm like, you didn't have to do that. That's very thoughtful. I yeah. recognize it. Yeah, I didn't have that reciprocation because I don't feel the same way about her, the way she felt about me. Yeah. That doesn't mean you're not a romantic I just haven't innately. That. You just have to. You're. You're. It's almost like a, a backdoor key to your heart, where it's like, oh, I'm gonna listen to a conversation she's having with me. She's gonna say she likes this one little thing that's so minuscule, but I'm gonna log it, and then three months down the road, I'm gonna surprise her with something. You're like, holy fuck! I think. I think. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> what you just said is nuts. First of all, you listen to one conversation, you listen to all of them, you're, the whole day is gone. That's crazy. You got to be like, no, pick one, I'll listen to it. And also, you never, have you ever also if, I, if you got your girl, every time she mentions she wanted something, like, what the fuck, you'd be broke. No, no, and then she'd it's, kick you out because you can't pay your fucking rent. <laughs> she'd kick you out on the street because she... You, you spent two hundred dollars in roses. It's not one. Come on, you've never something. had a good day and just been uh, you, you listening to what you're something your fucking bitch is saying. No, see, this is this is why this is why he's a pickup artist. <laughs> and, and you're Billy, no fucking bitches. And right? I know the women. <laughs> and you go, he goes. I know. This is go, just what you say <laughs> to get women. Meanwhile, he's lying through his teeth. <laughs> he's like, honesty is key, and you just have another right no. person to be romantic to. Right. No, you, you can't say it's that true. about women. But I'm it's saying, you, you've never been a, a, having a day where you felt romantic and you wrote down something, you're like, oh, that's that's going to be the Christmas gift, or that's going to be the birthday no, gift. No, I just get told. I get told what, what's coming up. You've Christmas. never once wrote down a... I'll... I'll, I'll I don't. You've never first had. All, I don't write. I don't know. I, I'm, typed it into your phone. More, more of a fucking uh, riffing. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to yeah. relationships, I do a bit of crowd work. <laughs> <laughs> but um, oh, more, what's she doing? More more huh? What do you, what, what do you yeah. like? I used to do that. Yeah, but we, me and we have been together for five years, so it's like I used to come up with all the presents. Now it's just like she'll get in early. Go just before you start coming up with ideas. This is what I need. And I'm like, right. yeah, yeah. Here's the cash. Go get it. Wrap it. Put on the tree. Dang. 
Yeah, really? I don't, that's, that's like, fu- no. I'd rather fuck up and give a gift that's not anywhere near what she needs or wants than say, <laughs> I want a <laughs> fucking sounds... winter coat from Zara. That's it's re- like, no, that's retarded. Shut up. You're going to send me a link? And then I gotta yeah. buy it and go open it. <clears throat> or and then or we sit. better still, she'll buy it and then you just give her the cash. We you get know, wine drunk the- at fucking Christmas at by three p.m. We're like, ah, thank you. It's like I, you told me to buy it for you. Yeah, I will this say a- that I have no brain for sentimental gifts. Yeah, that's not. I just buy okay. utility gifts. I love it. I love. Yeah, but if as long as the utility gift is not something What's she's that? expecting and asking like for, like an air fryer. Uh, no, like you know whatever. They, I'll buy someone like a chair. They need a chair. Solid chair. So are yeah. you waiting for her to go like you blew my bla- my back out last night? <laughs> you bring her outside and you got a, you got, that kind you of- got a chair with a giant ball on it. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, I got you like a, a yeah. desk lamp because you said you needed a desk lamp. Yeah, one of those water. That's fine. Those water toothpicks. That's fine. Yeah, that's, you go. But oh. that's also yeah. that. <laughs> that <laughs> water picks. That's one of those water picks. There you go. There you go, babe. That's, that's good. Dude. I'll I'm save you money. You have Embarrassing or anything. I've, yeah. I've, you bought someone a water pick, did you? Two. How did you know them so well, Tommy? I didn't. Tommy, Tommy. I didn't. I know. Yeah, my friend Laurie's. Yeah, she wanted a water. She didn't want a water pick, but I knew she was obsessed with like teeth and like she, yeah. you know. So and I enjoyed the water pick, so I was like, oh, she'll love this. This yeah. is a surprise habit. This is a friend of yours you bought. It. You just yeah. bought a random friend the thing. Yes. Yeah, I buy random friends things. Yeah, McKeever gets gifts. I've never received that. Huh? Just so you know. I've never yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's because you're not, the, you're not. Oh, oh, oh okay. You're what not the it? type. Don't like me. You know what me. I mean? What? I'm not just going to keep sending you gifts if you're not thinking about me. And this is the point. <laughs> 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 your mouth is flying it's up your true, face. It's true. It's true. He goes, <laughs> just because, because you're not the. <laughs> I don't like. What are you? What it's true. What are you, a Super Bowl commercial, I I, dude? I can see right through I you. I think I was never in your list. This is because. He's so excited to say it. You so excited to lie right to my face. But I would never buy you a gift. I don't think that's all right. You look like you would. You would not appreciate a gift. You'd Uh, bag it and toss it. No, you know what I do like. I like something that I'll never need to get again. So this desk, by the way, um, Daddy McKeever made this. Yeah, great great carpentry. But if if you bought me like a wrench or something, yeah, like a hammer, a hammer where it's like this will not break and I won't need one. I pass it on to my kids. Yeah, yeah, I love that. Yes. That, I love that. Give me yes. a fucking hammer. Yeah. Just, you're Irish, just something I'll never even use. I don't even need it. Just get me a fucking <laughs> a thousand percent. A jigsaw. A yeah, tape so measure. I can, yeah. Just in case I ever want to get into carpentry, <laughs> get me a solid fucking jigsaw. Uh, that's mine. That's my shit it's, right it's there. It's good to know. I love this, it. Yeah. I love it. Something that's not done a break. Nice hardware like that. Yeah. Oof, that's oof. every every Irish gift. Oh, baby. Yeah, that oh, came. That now came, cast iron pan? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now yeah, it's yeah. on right now. No, the now thing is, on. you get it, you got it for life. Yeah. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's yeah, what you yeah, want. Yeah. That's every, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so deep in our, what, whatever it is. Yeah, and I don't, wrong I, like if, I like, if, personally, if my girl was getting me something, I like like a special thing, like concert tickets or something. Or like even a trip. An event, yeah. An event, because it, it will stay with you forever. 100%. I don't want something that just fizzles out. I fucking, agree. You know? I agree. They're, That's they're why I like clothing and shit, all the, the standard gifts, mm. they don't mean shit. They don't mean anything. There's no attachment to the emotional capacity like, like you're socks. capable of. Yeah, yeah like fucking, I don't care how expensive, you can get me ski pants for a thousand dollars. I don't, first of all, I don't ski, but like, I don't, that doesn't, it's not the monetary value. It's like, if you think about something, you go, this is only 30 bucks I found at a flea market. They'll, they go nuts. They'll backflip. Mm. They go fucking wild. And it's only because you care about that person. You think about what they need, what they may want, and what may change their perspective on your relationship. Yeah. It's almost a sociopathic way to think in a way where it's like, if you're not in love with that person and you have that mentality, I think you're a sociopath. But if you love that person, you're always thinking, what can I surprise her with? What can I make her happy with? No. Give a dog a bone and, and they'll just fucking- Your fuck, soft bone? Fuck. You're going to fold your soft bone into- <laughs> <laughs> Better than nothing. <laughs> but you want to go to the bar? Yeah, Find yeah. someone else's soft bone? <laughs> <laughs> Find some other yeah, Irish, you know, the Irish rover? <laughs> Find 10 more me? <laughs> <laughs> These chairs are fucked. Yeah, they're great. They'd sink. I mean, you see, log the chair. Yeah, that's you need a chair for chair. Christmas. Need a chair. These are just sinking chairs. So yeah. sl- you'll slowly see if they're watching on the thing. Just going yeah. Tomorrow's oh, really? your Christmas. As you like scrub through the footage, you just yeah, you'll dr- see a drop. slip in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
listen. Yeah. <laughs> the camera gets cut. <laughs> <laughs> Raise the cheers. <laughs> yeah, so if anyone wants to donate some good office chairs, I'll happily take them. What do you say, tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day? It's your Christmas, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. You don't like St. Patrick's Day. It's fine. It's good. It's yeah. Like, I don't have a burning desire to fucking celebrate. Of course not. No. Because you're an adult. Yeah. I don't get dressed up for fucking Columbus you Day. You like going to a... Yeah. <laughs> I don't finger oh, fucking no, Italians nice. in the park and throw nice. up all over a hookah bar for yeah, staple a dollar to the fucking Mother Mary or whatever. They do. <laughs> yeah. Is that what they do? I don't know. Is that Columbus I don't Day? Know. When they it is down, weird. They walk down the street with like, yeah, and they uh, like Mother Mary statue. And shit. It's and all, so stupid. All, all of it's so stupid. He's also Spanish. Who? Columbus. Yeah. Yeah, but didn't he didn't he like buy his boat from the Italians or something? Wasn't it? He no, no, I think it. I think so why, why, he had the keys. Why do you guys love him? <laughs> huh? I don't because nobody. Just, no, he was he was he was Italian, genuine, but he flew on behalf. Of he literally, the I think he might have been born in Italy. He never spoke Italian. Every every document like, that looked he, Italian. He's just Italian yeah. American. Yeah, like he my papa. Italian? I, what does he look like? <laughs> huh? What does he look like? Dark eyes, dark hair. He's like Jesus. He's like, do they actually have an, He's act, great like an accurate representation yeah, yeah, of him? Yeah, nice personality. Yeah, <laughs> he, had, he had a war vest, a tracksuit. Yeah, yeah, yeah like nice this. nice head of lettuce. <laughs> yeah. Dude was crushing it. <laughs> the fucking hey, a big triangle world. hat, didn't he? Yeah. St. Patrick didn't do shit. He warded off I like snakes on an island or some shit. First of all, first of all, he was a slave, right? Yeah. First of all, he was a slave. Everybody he was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. English slaved him. A lot of white slaves. Yeah. A lot of Irish slaves. Who wasn't? So you know, a lot of, doesn't get brought up. A lot of, yeah. a, lot of a lot of Irish. Slaves. It doesn't, dude. You should, yeah. you need you need to say this more often to get a Netflix special. The you'd be on a fucking you'd be on the a Irish show. were slaves too. Yeah, uh, I have two spelt wrong. Yeah, you've been <laughs> brave, dude. You've been the Irish, brave. You should see the Irish <laughs> slaves <laughs> one, and then the Irish <laughs> slaves two. <laughs> <laughs> the two is me going. Because so it turns out a lot of that was not real. Yeah. <laughs> I want to apologize. No, the Irish were slaves. They were. Yeah, but they're not. Th there just wasn't enough to, to really not even give a fuck about. It. <laughs> well, also, we didn't last island. long. We didn't last long. They brought us over. We all died of skin cancer. Gone. Yeah, bad product. You stuck around. You yeah, bad we product. Well, we had a good strategy. We were like, okay, everyone's going to become a cop, and then we take this thing over. Yeah, you know, that's why every doing? East Coast city. We got it. We got it unlock. You think so? Yeah. You mm. think it's all Irish? Uh, mostly. Oh, okay. You got the white. We're house. doing pretty good. Never had, I think, I never think had Italian fucking, and Irish. There, there was never a fucking pretty balanced. Has there ever been an Italian president? Not even vice president. Kamala Harris, closest thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's the closest thing. Oh my god, I'll fucking jump over this table, dude. I'm not even that Italian, but you, you calling yeah. that fucking you're woman? Like, you're about to call her a slur. Jesus, it's something that I don't even know. That's like, <laughs> that shit. <laughs> Shane does that shit all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a good ball squeak jump. <laughs> God. But who's the biggest? Uh, Italian? I don't. F I don't Sinatra. know. I don't care. Sinatra is he Mobbed even up? Italian? I can see him not being Italian. Frankie, yeah, Frankie Frank Blue Eyes. I can Irish. see. I can see, I like I can see some like I, you know, you know, Listen, he was actually. This Jewish. is how I feel. Yeah, it could be. If you are, <laughs> I don't think so. He was mobbed up though, right? If he you're was, like, but you know, if you're Jews intense in the mob. about your nationality if you're intense about religion if you're intense about politics you can all fuck off uh, yeah, yeah yeah it is a, that's a personality disorder to me i don't give a shit what about supporting the eagles what that's 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 fine that's a that's different that's important. gotta be honest that's important it's very important that's just, that's just good <laughs> fun can, that's good fun all that other shit yeah. won't change your life but your fucking yeah. local yeah, 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 yeah. no i like i like a little tribalism like, yeah all you're yeah. doing is shifting all that negative energy to something else that you care about because most of your life sucks dick anyway it gives you a sense of community yes it's it does. important yeah yeah, yeah. How else are you going to high five a fucking Vietnam vet in a VFW? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> find, find the Eagles bring yeah. that closer. Find exactly. Out, find out what Frank Sinatra was arrested for mm. as a teenager. It was something something that- Probably being hot as fuck. Dude, it, it, was, was, a it was something sexual. There's a couple he photos of him on the beach with, uh, oh, yeah. with another model. Dude. Ooh. But he was young. Smoke shirt. Ripped? So, this is yeah, like, ripped. Skinny. Really? In like 19, Diamond eyes. In like 19. <laughs> oh, he had, he had eyes. Yeah, he now. got alcoholic face real quick. His skull, he? bulbous. He's got a bulbous skull like a Eastern European. Mm. He, he, he lived late enough. I always he did. Thought, I always thought in my head like he died in the 50s. He, he did, yeah, yeah. Like 19 fucking, it was. In the 80s he, or he something? He saw the Twin Towers go down and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my <laughs> God. Like Madison Square Garden. <laughs> <laughs> um, he so, got a, no, but he got arrested in like the 20s for something like. 
I don't know what it was like some sort of it's sexual probably marijuana assault. or something. No, oh. but like it was like a friendly sexual assault. Yeah, in the twenties. Like, yeah, it was like one of those in the twenties, which yeah. is rape. Which was a, yeah, there was a, this was a, <laughs> there's no friendly sexual assault in the twenties. Yeah. No, he had that, a good Stanley knife that's probably still going yeah, to this yeah. day. Yeah. By the way, that's another gift. <laughs> that's a good one right there. Yeah, he was a- arrested on charges of se- seduction and adultery. Seduction and adultery. Seduction. Yeah, see, that's a, that's an old timey crime. That's like no, that's that's seduction. Just, yeah, yeah. Who's seduction it? is... You can't get arrested for seduction anymore. Because it was fucking rape. What did I just tell you? Yeah. Back in the yeah, day, yeah, yeah, they yeah. were just That's like, just terminology. Ah, you know. He seduced her with a fucking knife. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like seducing implies consent. <laughs> yeah, but... Oh, it's I know it does. But in the 1920s, <laughs> yeah. there was no such thing as... No. <laughs> no. <laughs> they were kind of like some hippy-dippy I mean, bullshit yeah. seducing. Yeah. yeah. And then adultery. So she was married? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He was a young boy. When was that? What year was that? Uh, 1938. Yeah, he was... Yeah, that could have been... That, that was bad. Good I, I don't know what it was. That was that, bad for the, <laughs> that was, the entire that. world. 1938. Yeah, yeah, also, talk about... I don't know if you know history. Talk about... <laughs> the Italians and Irish weren't stirring shit up. <laughs> talk about recidivism, too. It's just like, Jesus... What are you doing? We what? just talked Word about... Word of the day? Throwing no, words no, out no. there. Recidiv- yeah, recidiv- recidiv- look at this guy no, showing no. off. No, that's, you know, when you go back, you keep going back to jail. Yeah, we know what it is. Is it? It's oh, just you, then why are you, you so because outraged by the use of the word? Just say that. Just say just, when you just keep going back to jail. Just add 10 words to yourself. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Don't sound like a bitch. Take yeah. half an hour to get this out. I'm just saying, you get arrested for seduction and adultery. <laughs> it's only going to lead to more pussy. <laughs> you know what I mean? it's that's like, a red flag. It's just that's like... a green flag. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, holy shit, this guy's hot. Yeah, this guy gets that it. That is the law. You're so hot, it was criminal. Yeah. Yeah, that's how we, that's how we, it was probably yeah. a marketing thing. Damn, dude. It was like Pete yeah. Davidson. I wish Pete I had Davidson this fucking yeah. can. Pete Davidson like, probably never when I, got, yeah. when I got arrested and I had to call my dad. Yeah. Which, well, for what? I'd be like, seduction. Too hot. <laughs> He'd be like, I'm coming over. <laughs> I'm getting you and bailing yeah. you out. It was like in Goodfellas you and you walked out, all girls? the boys were standing on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Bro, tell me high cheeks. Oh, he got the cherry. You know what? <laughs> you, everyone gets pinched yeah, yeah. But you didn't wear a condom yeah. That was the best <laughs> <laughs> But not everybody gets seduced <laughs> <laughs> But you didn't yeah. <laughs> I gave you that pack of goat skins yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice Have you guys ever, You've been arrested probably loads of times right? Yeah I've been, what, I've been detained like three four times <laughs> get never, just get into that I've only been arrested once Yeah you've only, okay. Yeah so they like they What's fuck the difference? It. The, the difference is they Detained they well. load everybody up in a van. In, no, no, like in a park. We used to drink in a yeah. in a. Uh, it's a, like a timeout versus actual detention. Right. So they sit everybody down. Fifteen. Years everybody old or gets whatever. this. They'd ask questions, make sure they have rides and stuff. It depends on the cop, the local cop. They know who your dad is and all that shit. And let's go fuck off. Don't do it again. And then the next weekend you have a keg on the fucking seventeenth hole and yeah. you get ripped again. You run through the woods. You drink to, the, you'd go to the golf range? Yeah, golf nice. course was a big oh, a nice. big booze area for us. Wow. It was called the golf. The and golf. we all met at the same hole every weekend. So all the locals took And just got kids. fucked up on the green? Yeah. Pissing in, yeah, so yeah. yeah. in the bunkers and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you yeah. didn't know. A lot of people, did, like, you know, they'd hook up in the bunkers or they'd fall into a bunker. It was great. It was wonderful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it, we started going. <laughs> catching sounds like a lot of seduction <laughs> and adultery <laughs> going Imagine you go fucking into the roof. And <laughs> that was like, actually <laughs> the nickname for 18 hole. <laughs> seduction. <laughs> <laughs> we would, yeah. in eighth, seventh, eighth grade, I would start, me and my, my best friend, Cooch, would, would take a general scooter. Uh, it was the brand. It was a bright green scooter, and we'd drive. Uh, we'd ride like twenty minutes to the golf course, and in seventh eighth grade, we knew like the ninth tenth graders. And then when you got to the golf, there was like eleventh and twelfth graders. Oh so my there was god! Like, you you had to know there had to be some lineage, some DNA that like you mm. knew this guy who knew your brother kind of thing. And then you would get a solo cup. You get a red cup, and they had mm. a keg or party balls. And when you're in eighth grade, someone in twelfth grade looks like they're fucking Dude, forty-five. Yeah. They yeah. are the president yeah, of yeah. your high school. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No like matter who guy. it is. Yeah. Yeah. This you're shitting yourself. Drives. Yeah, yeah. And then you start. Yeah. Tr- you drink faster because you're nervous. And, what, and what, what? What did you say? You get a ball. A party ball. You what remember the, party balls? No, no. It was a plastic. Uh, it was probably like three cases, I think. No, yeah. Of the beer. Keg. The, the keg, keg is ball. the keg is six cases. How much is a keg? Yeah. What did they call that thing? It was called a party ball. Yeah, and yeah, it was yeah, it was clear, it? Yeah. like dark glass or okay. dark plastic mm-hmm. rather. 
so that the sun didn't damage the, the beer and you had a keg tap into the party ball. Yeah. So it was like a it was like yeah. a quarter keg, okay. not a half keg, not a full keg. It was like a maybe two and a half, three cases. And sometimes we would forget, like you'd have to rent the tap or you'd have to ask an older brother, can yeah. you get a tap from the beer distributor? I'll give you 45 bucks or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> give us the tap and you have to bring the tap back. And yeah. then sometimes you forget the tap and you have to Dude. roll this party ball <laughs> down the golf course and then someone would fucking spear it because they we, we wouldn't have to tap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it would just be expl <laughs> just yeah. exploding everywhere. And then you just have to like dip cups in oh, these. Dude. And you lose like a case and a half. Yeah. Dude, I got- well, Just when the I pressure alone. When I worked in a bar, I got in a fight with the manager, like almost came to blows about like kegs and half kegs. Because there's no such thing as a half keg. Like a keg, a keg is one full keg. And on the order sheet, it says half keg. And that's like your normal keg. Yeah. That's, that's a full keg. Right. It's half a barrel. <laughs> you're looking at me like you want to Dude, fight me. No, but I he don't was look, like, he was do like, I look no, like your not. manager? No, it's not. Just, it's, just, a, it's a half keg. And I was like, it isn't. So you're saying there's a, a, no such thing as a full a, keg. A, a keg isn't a measurement. Like, no, like no, a keg, a keg, a keg is. is this also rope. sounds like your exit interview. Yeah, to be yeah, honest. dude, I literally thing is half a rope. You know. Yeah, well, so no, it's like uh, a barrel is like a is a shipping quantity. That's thirty five gallons. A full keg. It's crazy to even know this. A full keg is seventeen gallons, seventeen and a half gallons, or something like that. Okay. So anytime you see like the kegs they normally have at a bar, that yeah, is yeah. one full keg. Yeah. The what normally people call a quarter keg is a half keg. But I like was explaining this to him and he like spazzed <clears throat> on me. Yeah. And I also, you know, was yeah, being a cunt. He probably about had a it. Coke yeah, habit yeah. for 45 years. <laughs> yeah. And it fucking ate away at his oh, frontal yeah. lobe and he yeah, couldn't yeah, understand yeah. what you were saying. Yeah. <laughs> Are you saying Karen cheat on just, me? It just bothered me that somewhere he thought that there was a keg that's twice the size of any any keg he's ever seen. Yeah, well, it's bothering me that I also <laughs> thought the same thing. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand, though. I know. I don't understand. What do you mean? He's saying there's no half keg. It's a full keg. Why not? I've, That's what I said. I've worked a bar. A half also, I've keg. Seen a smaller, half keg is a skinny keg. I've seen a smaller keg. The yeah, keg. Yes, that's a. That's like what they normally call a quarter keg. Which that's, is a half That's keg. actually a half keg. <laughs> <laughs> they call it a quarter? <laughs> they call it a quarter keg. Who's that? Like beer distributors. Like when it comes in on the packing sheet, like all your normal kegs so say why, half why keg. So why did it ever start that like a half keg is a thing? <clears throat> Because it's half of a barrel, which is like, uh, like when you when they say like a price of uh, like a so barrel of oil. So who fucked this up? Who what? fucked this up? Somebody trying to use a, a a fancy word in the beginning of the the keg. It's just a thing that got lost. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think they. Used Why couldn't you just say full and half? Because well, where's a quarter? Because it's a quarter of a barrel, which is like who cares? I I'm, yeah yeah. What's, so. He, I don't know. Like when they say the, the price of a barrel of oil is like going up or whatever, that's a 35 gallon drum of oil. Okay. okay cool. Right. So that's like a standard like shipping term a is a barrel. So a full keg <laughs> is half a barrel. Yeah. So you think there's but some. They call it a half keg. You think there's some. Like, half a barrel. Some so so that's how they got there. mixed up. And what? a full you, keg is called half, half a barrel, barrel. Half barrel keg. Yeah. 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 Really? <clears> yes. We've all, I, I've always just called a full keg. Like a full keg and then a, ha a quarter keg. Yeah, a half. Half. yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, well, then you were right. Yeah. 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 I, never, I didn't know we were But always half on our packing sheets, they would say half keg. And I was like, this, is, this has been mislabeled. Yeah. Then you took it to the fucking streets. Yeah. Dude. And then I, then I explained him it. And, and he was like, you're an idiot, dude. And I was like, I'm not. You're Gosh. wrong. And, you know, once that happened. I feel I bad. For, I, I, I actually I, feel once bad that for happened, the guy. I can't even imagine. I, having this can you imagine? Yeah. Just, and this is what we do all day long. He's like, that's not true. Yeah. It's like, well, just pretend it's true because no. it's easier to understand. It just, no. This is what we say. I don't need to know how many say. fucking gallons of oil are in a fucking barrel. <laughs> yeah, you do, because you're walking around saying half kegs looking like a goddamn idiot. <laughs> to to not like three that, people on not Earth. Only, yeah, not only that, no, it's more than that, because everyone thinks it's a half keg. Everyone on Earth thinks it's a half Chris, keg. Chris, I promise you, nobody, and nobody cares about nuts. this at all. I know, all. and it drives me nuts. This. this is the IG clip. This no, it's not. Yesterday. Do not make this a fucking IG clip. That's the IG clip. There's nothing interesting nuts. about this. No, they love that barrel top. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> my, I was just going to say, drag me. this and delete it. <laughs> we, well, last week, Ten minutes. last week we spent an hour talking about how it's illegal to drive with your fucking the light in your car on. Yeah, it's always been illegal. Nah, it turns out it's not. No, it's of course it's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's That's just, what cops used to use. It's just hard to drive. To pull you over. 
Well, it's a reason to pull someone it's over Italians, for sure. Maybe. No, no like honestly, in fucking in Delco, they would pull you over if yeah. you if you left the thing on. Yeah. If, if I you turn it off for one second, that's, that's it was not. it was reasonable. I I think to, I, to I, get pulled over. I read the Constitution; it's not in there. I know, so, but it is it is probable cause. This is like saying the fuck the guy pulled me over for seductive reason. <laughs> 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 uh, the point is they're sitting waiting for you to fuck up one thing which is like it's not just thing. a tail light but if you hit the inside what's thing, that called even the light the inside light Ro- roof light the Dome overhead light. lamp overhead <laughs> overhead <laughs> that's no one says that either <laughs> what it's actually half are you from Connecticut he's from Connecticut yeah that doesn't that doesn't exist it's the overhead There's lamp no, no it's not that was just a thing someone it's said a lamp that's overhead party. It just spread around the rumors. Well, dude, well, cops. We, we used to get so like like hell bent like with anxiety if like anyone hit that button to look for like if like they drop a wallet or yeah. keys. Or oh something, yeah, yeah. They turn yeah. on like just, just shut it off. Like everybody, Woo! you'd see like yes. eight hands. Yes, like, shut, shut that, that fucking thing off. Step like, away from the vehicle. Yeah, what are you trying to do? Can just pull the. Well, I drive it all the time. Dude. I forget. I, yeah. My car is constantly the, the batteries dying all the time because I just leave it on and I'll just drive. Well, that's right I mean, dude, hand. it's like that's like driving in the rain with your windows down. I mean, it's a reason. It's not illegal, but it is a reason to pull someone over. Why? You could be no looking way. for something. What? It's better. It's no, if you're driving with the light on, no. something could be wrong have, with that person. I have lights like this, like strapped to the ceiling. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so I can always be ready to park. For a cash mo- cab? At yeah, any yeah. moment. Yeah. Whack out the Patreon. <laughs> you ever like been through that, like that, like my childhood was like that where, and adolescence where you were so fearful of cops pulling you over just for drinking. Oh, yeah. Where now... This is how I feel about like hotels. Like if I get ripped off at a hotel, I'll fucking run the water. Like oh, I'll take the, the longest showers. I'm using all the hot water. I it's like the white trash in me to go. I'm gonna get you back. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now jerk off when I'm sober yeah. on a fucking highway or something. It's nighttime. I'm rocking that light. Yeah. Yeah. If, as long as my blinkers are on, everything's working. I got no broken tail light. I'm waiting for you to pull. What are you gonna pull me over for? I'll Dude. just go. Oh my 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 mother was looking for her. her the fucking but it's not her medicine. heart it's her not heart medicine law. it's not a law huh it's not a law exactly but they can say it was a law the same reason old they, blue they, eyes they, got fucking they, arrested for seduct- just simply seducing Dude, some chick wanted her 15 minutes of fame yeah. and she's still talking yeah. still they talking saw, about it this is seduction he was just seducing <laughs> a little bit of friendly way. <laughs> yeah. no there's there's not a lot of things that are not illegal that if you do it, it makes sense to pull someone over like I, I could just put a blinker on and change lanes and then put it back on and go back and just keep doing that you know why well, that's so not illegal that's, what's that's not that? illegal because it's crazy <laughs> this person needs to be taken are you going road. are you going around other cars no, I'm just going back and forth oh yeah you're a maniac yeah 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 so turning the, it's not illegal turning the roof light on to look it for something is not illegal. It, it depends how long it's on. If it's on for a couple seconds, then it's like, all right, that person was looking for something. If it's I'll give on it, for a while, so the cops behind him going, I'll give him two seconds to find whatever he's looking for. I think, yeah. I think, I think yeah, you're, I think you're on a. 15, what are you looking for? <laughs> I think you're on a fifteen to twenty second clock. An old stopwatch. Right now. And I, honestly, if you drop something and you're looking for it while you're driving, it you, you're on drugs. Uh, a cab. <laughs> 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 You're one hundred percent on drugs. <laughs> fucking a cab. All yeah. the dumbest people I grew up with are cops or teachers. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they can all fuck off. Yeah, they've got a recruiting issue good. for sure. What camera are we at? Listen, yeah, there's, yeah. there's a few, but yeah. you know, and I think vast I think you do actually. They they will like they have a filter where they'll like if you're smart, they do try to get rid of. You. In the cops, yeah, you know, yeah, smart people, yeah. They send you, fire no, it's absolutely true. Yeah, yeah. I think I, I think, think there was like way. some emails or something that got leaked where there was just yeah. like, dude, if this you score guy... really high on the testing, you're a threat. You're more of a threat to the whole system. Yeah, you know? you're gonna be asking about the process, and yeah. you know, yeah. chief of police is like, I don't like this guy. What's he gonna do? Wear my jacket, my badge. We got a good thing going here. Is he a forty-two <laughs> regular? <laughs> What's he a fifteen and a half neck? I don't like him. Yeah. Get him out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Pull him over when his lights on for 15 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Did you guys drive a lot in Ireland? Yeah, we drive everywhere. Yeah. What sheep? No, like in high school. Good one. You in like high that? school, did no. you, you like that hat joke? Hated it. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas That's to you cool. and yours. Instagram number two. Right there. <laughs> <Bang>. Cut it. <laughs> I just, I just, I just, like, just being, all the worst jokes. <laughs> just the, the worst bombs. And even if you laughed, I just like edited it so it seems. Like, <laughs> yeah, you cut me, it out. Yeah. Me and Chris. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could slow do zooms, it. So slow zooms on our faces being like. Here's the thing. I, I've I been, just double over you. I've been doing this. <laughs> fuck the Jews. <laughs> Whoa, Tommy. Whoa. <laughs> I've been doing this long enough that you I could, actually don't care anymore. It would yeah, be it would be a really fun way to do a podcast. It's just like just the way you select the topics. You make sure that it's like he gets a fuck out. He gets a Jews out. He gets a <laughs> duh out. And then sure. and <laughs> just stick it together. Holy shit. What was this about? <laughs> Study show. They attack each other. More. <laughs> True. <laughs> Play some of the airport videos. The whole yeah, the whole project of the podcast is just to try to get through it without being someone, without having someone cobbled together fucked up shit that you said. The old tone of Brian is yeah, a frozen yeah. image. Yeah. That's just my milk. <laughs> <laughs> the Jews run the media. <laughs> Yeah, they do. They could get on that. Get really end these guys' careers. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to come up with some type of strategy of just moving beers around, taking articles of clothing off, but, so you couldn't. Yeah, you grow up believing loads of shit though that people just say, right? Yeah, yeah. Of course. Like I don't know who started that, but there was a time probably when there was like things couldn't get fact checked. So it was just like some oh, guy said yeah, at a yeah. party once and it just somehow just spread, just kept going. How great was that? Yeah, those guys. The, the sky is blue because it reflects off the water. Yeah, that, heard that, that before. Yeah, yeah, that's like that's crazy. This is wrong. my whole dad's no, personality. Wasn't it the opposite? Wait, wait, isn't it the opposite? What do you mean? Like the water is blue because of reflect. It's the reflective of the sky. I think. Ah, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, well, again, again we're just blue-ish. proving the point. Yeah, 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 yeah. We we had one. We this is kind of racist, but it was it was that uh, black people are faster because they have an extra muscle. Calf muscle. That's calf. not you had about Ireland. We had ass muscle. <laughs> That's ass, crazy. yeah, wow, wow, yeah. The way calf, calf was big in Philly. I love the idea of like yeah. an Irish guy and a Philly guy fighting at a bar, going, "No, it's their, it's their fucking yeah. ass." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How many twerkers are there? A racially go, insensitive yeah. comment. Yeah, that's that's no, our comment. It's the calves. <laughs> it's the, how do you think it jumps so high? It's like, <laughs> I mean, they gotta have something. It's 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 it's, it's heart and Chris, determination. What are you something. doing? It's there's something going they on. They are faster. Yeah, they're better. Yeah, but it's got to be better at everything. Why are they better physically? Well, not everything. I think it's because they've been put through the fucking ringer physically. I got to piss. Back in the day. Go for it. You got to piss. Yeah, you just got to. I actually do have to piss, but this would be a great time to not say what my thoughts are. I, 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 I do think. Slavery may have produced like just top athletes. Well, know? that's that's, that's like, actually a, it's a that's a theory. There's no like, way it didn't have an impact. They definitely came out of that physically. Yeah, sure, a little bit. You know, I'm yeah. sure. Isn't it historically I'm, accurate that they they used to like breed? breed yeah, the, yeah, the, the yeah, most athletic woman and the yeah. most athletic man. I don't know. That's your your country, not me. I said, I isn't it? I didn't say it is. <laughs> they would breed the most athletic people. Yeah. You know what? It's fucked up that like no, That's what I've no, read in no history. country. Not the worst thing they did. Well, it could have been <laughs> no, this, actually. This, it could have been the, 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 the hot guy. Yo, hey, fuck, hot guy, you get to fuck the hot one. When I said <laughs> red in history, it could have been the chief of police on Facebook Dude, saying you were, this you were sitting, in Philadelphia. You were sitting in a roar, the most racist city in the Yinglings, and some guy just said this, and you're like, that could be right. It's like, hey, get, good luck out there. Don't drive with your light on. It's kind yeah. of fucked up that they never did that with like intelligence. Hmm. They never like well, no, no, no leader was just like you know what we're testing everybody the smartest ones have to fuck they do and they become autistic is that it yeah, yeah they meet, I think there is a they I think meet you're right. in a library I, they have fucking New Yorker yeah. totes and they become no, less of saying, people I think smart people <laughs> that can it was, breed smart people right it's not no it's not like that. that you can breed yeah. tall you can be breed genetics you can breed athleticism I think they're just probably can't difficult. breed brains they're probably difficult to enslave <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> They keep bopping around. I think they the keep coming is, up with new going ideas from museum to, museum. to get out of it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the last one I saw was at an orchestra. Just the girl can't get just, wet because she's just like, <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, well. yeah. <laughs> she's like, ugh. His partner's on the third floor of a Lego store. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> trying to figure an exit because they don't like sex to begin with. I really do have to piss. Go, 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 go piss. Thing. Straight up there. Watch it. Yeah, you can just pull the curtain to the right rather than go in the middle. He's gonna pull the hole. No, know. but where did you guys party in high school? I guess you guys, you guys could almost go to bars, right? We, yeah, we we would go to bars at like fifteen. Oh really? Yeah, fifteen was when we started going. To so bars. you didn't have any like in the field partying kind of shit. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Oh, you we, did. We started that at thirteen. 
<laughs> oh my god yeah it was like 13 14 house parties in the fields and then even when you're 15 or 16 you would still probably do that sometimes yeah the girls are in nightclubs early the girls get in the clubs early that's just a rule that's just an international what? rule women get away with stuff so they would show up and they would have their like cousin's id so it's, would you go to the bar and it would just be chock full of 15 16 year olds uh it could be depending <laughs> on you you'd know particular bars that would be lax with that you know oh my I, god i had my brother's id i used my brother's id for when i was 16 so he was four years older than me so i was like 16 years old oh because you can drink at 18 up, right yeah it's 18 yeah 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 but i know girls who were going to nightclubs at 14 and stuff like that fucking or right, what were you doing fuck. what you do in ireland you do passbacks so what you do is so we went to proper nightclubs we we're all 17 you would, what you do is let's say you don't have id i don't have ID. yeah yeah but then this guy has his cousin's id he would go up get in, hand the ID to, like, a girl. She would leave to have a cigarette, hand us the ID. Then you walk up to the club with the same ID. They go, go ahead. And then you just keep passing it back so that everyone would be walking around. And they didn't give a fuck. I mean, they had to know they were seeing the same ID over it's and over It's just very again. hard to even know. No, because you don't register that. You don't, they're not really looking. They're, look, they, they're not memorizing people's names. If you names. see the same ID three times, no, you gotta... No, when, when yeah, I a, guess. no. When there's 50 people, it's, it's like... True. You're, you're not. Yeah. You're looking at the person, and you you might go, what's your date of birth? And then they'll yeah. tell you. Yeah. And well, everyone looks kind of the same anyway. Everyone's yeah. white. Or, or, yeah, you know, yeah. Everyone's white, and you can just say, oh, I cut my hair, I dyed my hair, a different oh, color, dude, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if I had your ID, I bet I could use it. Easily. Yeah. yeah. I, saw, I was in line one time, and the bouncer, there was like a girl walked up, Right, and he get take, takes her ID, and then someone like one of the staff said something, and he turned around and was like, "What? Whatever." And then there was like an Asian guy there, and he took his ID, and then they were they kept talking, and he was kind of like blah blah back and forth, and then yeah. he he turns to the girl, I swear, he turned to the girl and looked at the Asian guy, and was like, "Yeah, go on, go ahead." And then she was like, "That's not my ID," and he was like, "What?" And she's like, "That's my ID." He's like, "Oh shit!" And he just let the two of them in. I was, <laughs> I was even in line, and he was just like, "What? Yeah, you go in too." Yeah, yeah like, get the fuck in there. Yeah, yeah, they didn't give a fuck. They didn't give a fuck. They sometimes they would ask you stupid shit when we used fake IDs or whatever. Do you remember your first fake ID name? It was I think it was just my name. Oh, was you did you you get it made? I got I <clears> got, I just went on to some random website and I just made some fake student ID thing. Yeah. But I I used but that was when I was real young and I to, to buy cigarettes like at the stores, Yeah. like the, the bodegas. Yeah. But I you'd never get into clubs around. But then I just started using my brother's ID. I'm going to age myself here obviously, but mm. my father used to write a, a note Saying like, sign off, sell my my son a pack of Winston soft packs. That's classic. So I go to classic Wawa move. on Garrett Burma in, yeah. in in Drexel Hill and, and buy him cigarettes. But my oh first my ID, God. they didn't have that technology yet. What technology? Scanning. Like there was not none no. of that shit. So you had to know somebody that was like, you kind of look like this dude. That's yeah, mm. yeah. And my first one, I think I was like eighteen, and the dude's name was Anthony Philip Ninfo the third. <laughs> oh my! So God. like the last thing you want. You're is, telling me, yeah. Tony, your dad is Anthony yeah. Nimbo II? Exactly. <laughs> You're telling me. Exactly. The only thing you want to avoid is, is, is a funny name. <laughs> McLovin. Yeah. yeah, it's right? McLovin, essentially. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, that's, they were like, Ninfo? Huh? Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you have to memorize the address of this motherfucker. You yeah. Have to, yeah. All Dude, of it. My brother, you study it. My, the only date of birth I know is my brother's date of birth because I used his ID for years. Right. I don't know. Couldn't even guess what yeah. month my dad is. Honestly. It's the greatest lesson. Couldn't even my, come close to guessing. My oldest brother ever told me. He said, like, you get arrested, drink it at the golf, any underage shit, you use, you, all you do is drop the number and your, your birth date. So they can't check it. So mm. back then, you like you would just say, your name, I'm, I'm not in the system. And then you would drop the birth date and you would change the first name to like a brother's name. Oh, yeah, so yeah. So you flip all of the siblings. Oh, well, okay. they're just like, yeah. scram. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the cop was like, I can't. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I'm not going to do all this paperwork <laughs> yeah. for some yeah. fucking bumbling 16 year old thrown up in a, in a Roy Rogers lot. Yeah, I didn't yeah. sign up for this job to do math. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's actually why I got it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I got the job because I was terrible at math. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we used we used to get arrested all the fucking time for doing just stupid shit, you know? But like just having drugs or drinking or whatever. But we had the technique. What'd you I, call them? Bobbies or? Bobbies? I don't know. I never Cops? Heard. Cops? Just pigs. I don't know. Oh, Something really? Like you guys would say pigs? 
Not to their face. <laughs> <laughs> but sometimes we would uh, almost as a joke. We go five zero, like if a cop yeah, showed yeah, up. Yeah, hundred percent. Five zero. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. As we all watch the yeah, wine. Yeah. <laughs> but we're like, yeah. we're all just in a farm somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> dude, all the dudes. And then they would show up. We go, you selling that rock? <laughs> <laughs> All the dudes used to go, cops, 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 cops. And then you see the younger yeah. dude scurry. Yeah. Oh, but we, run into the oh, fucking dude, brush. I mean, that was, you know, the only reason to even be an athlete is to ditch the cops. 100%. Yeah. Well, we, yeah. they, they would search us. If you were in the park, they would come over and we would probably, like, we would do a thing where we'd have all our drinks hidden in a bush, like, which is just like a minute away. And then we'd all hang out at a certain point. So then the cops showed up. We'd all just over the shoulder throw all the cans away. Yeah. And then they would go searching through the bushes for the drinks. But like, you couldn't really, it wasn't on you. Yeah, right, right, right. But then do, what they would do is if they searched and they found out, if they had skins, that was a reason to bring you into the, if you had like papers, yeah. that was a reason to bring you into the, the, the jail. So I remember one time though, someone told me a technique of, if you put in your pocket, so they were like, empty your pocket. So I took everything out, but I had all my papers like behind my phone like this, kind of. Mm. And I was just like, see, there's nothing here. Yeah. And then uh, I just got away with it one time. And that, because uh, I had a lump of hash in my, breast pocket <laughs> oh my yeah. god we used to smoke hash back in the day you were Vietnam we, we, I don't know why Ireland was all hash until 2005 and then just literally it was like one day someone was like are you smoking hash you're gay we yeah. all smoke weed yeah, yeah. and it just changed well the overnight. one guy got locked up but the, yeah, Dude, yeah I don't know what happened but the guy was searching my pocket and he was pulling on it and it just wouldn't open for some reason but yeah. it was just a big lump of hash and then it just gave up and I was just like I remember just being like what the fuck yeah yeah I can't keep molesting this kid yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was just rubbing the nipple. Oh, no. <laughs> you mean seducing? It's getting harder. Yeah, yeah. seduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah this is what Frank did to the chick. Hold on. I can't get the hat out of here. What about this? What about this fly? Yeah. Dude, I got pulled over. Or my buddy and I got pulled over once, and uh, the police searched the whole car. We were just, like, driving through Massachusetts, and uh, and he had a ton of weed in the sunglass compartment. Yeah. And they yeah. never opened it. Wow. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I've terrifying. known buddies that like had that like the the private little uh, secret compartments like behind a CD where you'd hit like you'd hit that one button that was never touched before and then it would just pop out and they would hide oh, drugs yeah. in there like that's how you knew and it was always like a Trans Am or some fucking yeah. dude I got some now. fucking wild my freshman year of college I got pulled over I was uh, I was home for Thanksgiving and I was drinking I like I had. Like I met up with some buddies like at some house party. I bought an 18 pack for myself. I had drank half of it. Then I was driving to me my other buddies at a diner. I put that 18 pack in the passenger seat and was drinking a beer while driving. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. That's reckless. Dude. <laughs> well, you're just like, this is it, dude. That's yeah, so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm the fucking man. I, I come over this hill and there's a checkpoint. Oh, Right? So I'm like, fuck. I roll down the passenger side window and I throw the beer out the passenger side it. window. Yeah. And the beer sprays all over the windshield. Yeah. So, oh, at so this you, point, hit the, you hit like this. Dude, dude, <laughs> I'm literally driving up to a checkpoint. There's beer dripping down the window. <laughs> I have the whiskey right <laughs> It's July. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just <Dude. laughs> <Dude. laughs> This is the most. <laughs> if you say you got out of this, this is white privilege. <laughs> dude, I, dude, this, this, is why, dude, this is why I say it exists. Dude, dude. <laughs> yeah. You got Connecticut I'm plates really, on the yeah. fucking BMW. So like, that guy just threw a beer at me. You had whiskey dripping from the ceiling. On his forehead, dude. I, I, I threw. What are you I, gonna do, officer? Just because I ate the lamb? I ate the lamb. It was. It gets worse. I thought this was American. I threw, <laughs> He's just jerking off. Yeah. Do you know my father's? Uh, I can't I, do this here. I threw. I, I threw my hoodie over. Uh, the nice. fucking eighteen pack. So there's just a there's just a hoodie over a rectangle. <laughs> <The box>. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm, I I I didn't even know if I had to stop, yeah. like because it was like kind of <laughs> through a town. So I'm just driving five miles yeah. an hour past yeah. this guy. He gets out of his car and he starts <laughs> running at me, just holding his hat. Yeah, that yeah. doesn't fit. Stop! Stop! For stop! Really yeah, exactly. That's so what I they stop, all look like. I, I stop. I roll down the window. He's like comes up to the window. He's like. uh He's like license and registration. I like beers. Yeah. Still like yeah. there's there, it's <laughs> running. It's broken it's, bottle yeah, yeah. It's the the windshield. The inside of the windshield is wet. Yeah. 
I, I give him my license Shows to your registration. Forehead at this point. He goes, he goes, <laughs> and, and, and like, well, at that point, it's like, you got to just play it cool. It's like my fate, like I'm dead. Yeah. I'm dead to rights. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's my yeah. first time home from college, and now I'm definitely yeah. going to jail. No more turkey for you. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he like, I handed my license to registration. He goes, Jesus Christ, man. It stinks like booze in here. <laughs> <laughs> His next go, comment was like, "Do you play softball? We need a fourth I go, "What?" I, <laughs> I was like, "What?" I, I mean, I don't know why. He's like, "All right." He walks back to the he car. Go, well, oh, well, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. I bought the car this way today, yeah, son. Yeah, yeah. yeah, dude. I was saying the same thing to this piece of shit. Well, my, my friend was driving the Stinks car. Stinks like was, booze in here, dude. He sat in these his Fords, car. These Fords, you know, they are. <laughs> he sat in his car for what felt like forever. Okay, he comes back to the window, and he just hands me a license and registration, and goes, "Jesus Christ, man, just get home safe." <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes. And I was like, "Yep." Totally. Yeah. I will. And when you drive off, you're going, ah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I went <laughs> crazy. Oh, oh, yeah, you got to celebrate. Oh, you're yes. spraying it over here. <laughs> like you're Formula One driver. <laughs> Dude, I didn't yeah. even go like, you know what? Just pack it and go home. I went to the diner. Yeah. I like showed up. I was like, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the craziest yeah. thing just yeah. happened. Get, getting yeah. away with a crime is the oh, greatest oh, feeling God. of all time. Yeah, you guys got to try it. If you guys are out there, write in. Let right. us know. Or a simple lie. Oh, just, just oh, no. When you think you're caught, and then you just get away. And yeah. You're walking away, but you're like, go, oh, yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> dude. That's a sign of a creative thinker. You know what I mean? Like get if you get caught in a lie, and you're like, there's no way I'm getting out of this. Yeah. Mm. That release of endorphins is like. I, it's like losing your wallet and then finding it. You're like, it was worth it. Because the guess. feeling I had at, after I found it. Oh, yeah. It, I wish I did this more often in a mm. controlled environment. It's important. Sure. The, the key is to not panic. Accept death. You have to be, Except yeah, death. right. Accept so that your life is over. So it's probably like- And no. then you just go, all right, well, yeah, I guess yeah, I yeah. Just, if I just act totally normal- yeah. You start thinking then, about like how you're going to sleep in the cell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Am I going to do this? You're already going to my yeah, right yeah. shoulder. Yeah, yeah it's like yeah. I just, I'm gonna go I just, on. I'm not going to lose my job. Yeah, yeah. Gonna, yeah. Gonna, I'm not going to fight the avalu. first dude. I'm just going to be like, look, man, I'm not I'm, into anything. <laughs> I, that, and there is a part of your brain, dude, that goes like, I've got a screwdriver right here. I could just fucking shank this yeah, guy dude. right now. I, there is a part of you goes like, I should just fucking floor it. Yeah, dude. I've been just going down the motor. How many people are going down, flying down a motorway, just like? Getting chased by a helicopter. Honestly, going, if I was what the fuck am I doing? What the I, fuck am I doing? If I was smart, I would have just put my blinker on and just like turned into. There was like an apartment complex. I would have just. I, I should have just that's, turned that's in there and just sat get. there. Yeah, my but then I got, felt like he got, would pull. He would pull out got, and come get me. We got caught in Ireland one time. We were coming down the road like that, and, and it's like a, like a three lanes, and then there's a checkpoint, but there's a turn right. And we shouldn't, it wasn't that bad. He just, it was a learner's permit. And you, in Ireland, you need to have someone who has a regular license. Yeah, Ireland. yeah. And then he was like, yo, fuck this. And then turned right. It was like, ha, ha, ha. And then he went down this like random cul-de-sac. <laughs> and then just immediately another cop car goes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like, fuck. They would like, set him up. Oh, that that's what it was. Yeah. yeah it was the You're easy. trying to take that route. He, you know he, you got something to hide. Had he said, had he just stayed straight? It yeah. would have been fucking Yeah, 100%. Yeah, oh, that was, well, yeah. Dude, I've, had, I've, I've been in situations. I was like driving through... I was driving to visit my brother up in Vermont and uh, there was the way they had set up the speed trap was they literally just had a cop in the woods with a gun, right? Just clocking people. Mm. And then he was radioing to cops like two miles down the road to yeah. just pull over. And yeah. like they were literally, and then you'd come over this hill and there was a cop standing in the middle of the highway just pointing at people. Jesus. <laughs> fucking, that seems, it was the craziest thing I've Vermont. ever seen. But that yeah. seems sloppy. You know, they gotta make yeah. money. They're pulling over the wrong end person. of the month. That's like yeah, McDonald's yeah. when they give you the wrong order because someone left the fucking line. Or something, you know, and next thing you know, you're just getting duped for someone else. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> Some a, there, guy turns left, and next thing you know, you were doing 100 miles an hour. Oh, yeah, wow. I understand. Like, like jurisdictions and like like neighborhoods need to make money for quotas at the end of the month. But then there's like we had this one cop. We called him RoboCop. Okay. His uh, he looked every bit of a RoboCop. Yeah. He lived next door to my best friend growing up. And this dude was just yoked. And it wasn't about- I'm gonna grab a beer. You guys yeah, yeah. Do. Now you're good. I'm you're doing good. good, yeah. It wasn't about meeting quotas. This guy was all pride. So dude, he would show up. Did you know his, do you know his car number? No, I knew- We, we had everyone car number name. 17. You knew if you were anywhere near 17, you were fucked. This is why RoboCop was the best. You never saw his car. This guy 
And we were also... <laughs> he was running down the road. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you the story. The story's fucking wild. And it will be verified. Yeah. It will be verified by people I know from home. Yeah. This cop was so fucking legendary that he, we we only drank at like two places. We drank at Dermont Field and we drank at the golf. And then this is prior to like house parties. If you had a house party, your parents didn't give a fuck about you or like... You had that cool parent, which yeah. was never a good idea. Yeah, like, a, go drink in the basement, 13, 15 years old, you know as that, long as everybody you know, gets home safe. You don't like, want that fucking parent. No, yeah. that parent is always like, she's fucked up on pills. Yeah. 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 I'd rather as you be here. here. <laughs> I'd rather you be here yes. doing heroin yes. in my house right. than yeah. out on the street. Yeah. Which means that mom is on pills, yeah. having the yeah, same mentality, thinking that it's good they, for the kid. They, but when you're 16, you're like, Teddy's mom rules. Rules. Oh, man. She showed you a nipple one time. Yeah, yeah. And years later, you're like, all right, that was fucked up. Fucked right, up yeah, shit. That's why Teddy's yeah. in jail. So man. this dude knew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Teddy, Teddy, is a, Teddy is a rape yeah, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Teddy dead. Teddy long dead. <laughs> yeah. So this guy would show up at this fucking, at the Dermont field where they, they always kept the courts lit. Yeah. So you walk down these steps, there'd be a basketball court, tennis court to the right. That was dilapidated. There was no fucking net. So it was just dark. And then the football field that I played on was complete darkness. So we'd hang out this one place where it had uh, like picnic tables with like an overarching cover because there was a second exit. So there's only three places to get in. You could drive up this this uh, this uh, path to get to the parking lot, which was over here. You could walk down the steps into the light of the basketball courts. Yeah. And this, the other exit was over here where we'd hang out by the picnic tables. <laughs> this motherfucker... It's funny I how you pick up like military strategy. You do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no like, matter how old. Never enter a place with only one exit. <laughs> <laughs> you never want to go up the hill. You always want to be going down the hill. Never go yeah. up the hill. Meanwhile, I'm just drinking bush. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get bush. A couple of natty lights. <laughs> yeah. But we, this guy was so, th there's one story in particular. I could draw it. I could draw the, you know how like we were talking about memories come with trauma. Yeah. You, you visualize memories so vividly if they come with a certain amount of trauma or fear. I remember this guy walking down the steps from the basketball court and everyone was like, Robocop, Robocop. And this guy just is walking. We didn't call him Robocop because of the, the affiliation you have, right? Yeah. With the connected tissue with actually Robocop doing the same <laughs> shit. But this is what he did this night. He saw this guy. Uh, this dude Bops. There was a family of, of fucking athletes, Gooch, and Bops. he starts. Robocop. Bob starts fucking taunting this dude. So everybody else starts funneling through this little oh alleyway, which goes into this little neighborhood, and Bob starts fucking yelling at this dude. And Robocop still maintains a slow pace, dude, like a fucking movie star yeah. he is. Yeah, yeah. And then just turns on the jets. This dude's booking through the court. And his fucking slips, dude. <laughs> These guys are wearing, they're wearing wedding shoes, dude. Cops didn't wear fucking, Yo, there was yes. no track. These dudes are wearing wedding shoes and chase, <laughs> shiny wedding shoes. <laughs> Chasing you through the courts onto grass. Which oh, is yeah. undulation of the fucking... There's there's holes everywhere. Yeah, and it's, it's also... Mayhem. It's like 3 a.m., so there's like dew. This yeah. dude is running through, yeah. Dunes of bombs. <laughs> <laughs> and once you... So he runs this way. Once you break this little angle, you can you can buck off to any area of this neighborhood. It's a yeah. residential, suburban neighborhood. Yeah. Where you could, you could bump down any alley, any street, hide in any fucking uh, driveway. He fucking found them and arrested them. Whoa. Robocop found the motherfucker him. and arrested him. And, he's just, and, this, and he was riding solo? Yeah, Robocop yeah. didn't have a partner. That's a, that's a scary You don't dude. get a nickname like every, that with a partner. Every, it's gotta be, every <laughs> some fat, lazy partner, don't yeah. ride with every, Robocop. Every cop dude. that's notorious was always just on their own. Solo. They would just oh, show yeah, up on yeah. their own, like on a Segway or yeah. something. And you're like, I don't this need guy. a partner. Yeah. 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 Dude, it's like, seeing, like, it's like seeing somebody in eighth grade play and be like, you should be in Hollywood. <laughs> he didn't deserve yeah. our yeah. neighborhood. Just that come, motherfucker should have been the FBI, CIA. The walking after him is the, I remember. There was cops like that would just walk after you, yeah, and then they just they scanning. Up. It's nice. essentially scanning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I found my target, John Connor. <laughs> there, there, I I gotta be honest though, if you're a cop, there's gotta be nothing more fun than trapping. Yeah, high Kids. schoolers drinking. Yeah, and like especially now Ruffing if you got if you got those cop. like remote start cars. You got to be able to fuck with, like just just put your car somewhere in a lot. Yeah, just leave it there. Stay on like the other side of it, right? 
Remote start it, lights come on, engine turns on, sirens go on, everyone goes panics, runs right to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, this is set a trap. He goes, woo, woo, woo. Yeah. 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 Kid shows up, yeah. Michael. And they yeah. sprint the opposite direction in the woods, but you're in the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Free like technology, it's though. Like everything was so yeah. Yeah. Night show. <laughs> Michael, I've rounded up the teenagers <laughs> having fun. Good. No having fun. <laughs> no having fun. A lot of cops, though, that is their like their whole mentality. It's like, hey, hey, no having yeah, fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, like, oh, we're yeah. just having a barbecue. No, no, no. My so mother was a, a night nurse, and we would do, uh, every now and then I would throw a party at, at my p- place, and we'd drink in the basement. Mm. We would. Hu- so my mom comes home early one night out of nowhere, and we're playing pool in the basement, and all my boys like, oh shit, we start scaring, and I'm like. So yeah. they put all the beer cans in the pockets of, and then we, yeah. they had like this side cellar door where like the case was behind a closed door. So then my mom comes down, she knows what's up. But I there's, kept there's the thir- no way they don't. Know. No, of course there's, not. It's impossible. But of all people, my Irish mother, she fucking didn't have any idea. She was not. She's not a boozer. She drink drinks oh. one clue and cream. A Christmas gets fucking pounded out by Papa Steve. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm no, kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm sure. I'm sure. Where did that even? <laughs> why? How did that even come? I up? don't know. It it's also, not like it I got also has to be the worst nightmare of any like any mother who works nights <laughs> with teenage boys. It's like anytime someone's like, "Hey, you get to go home early tonight." You got to yeah. be like, Fuck. "Yeah, I get to catch my kids doing <laughs> fucked up shit." <laughs> yeah. now, what did you? Say? Now I got to find out what these creams anyway, are up my to. Mother's, Wait, my mother's. My mother say she drank. Huh? Kahlua and cream. Kahlua. Yeah. So every time. You go into like a liquor store and you say Kahlua, you're just like a hundred percent. That's a that's how she yearly. Loved, she loved Bailey's. That's a yearly ride, she loved it? Bailey's and Kahlua, which yeah. is it's just milk and a tiny I, bit of liquor. Then I yeah, it's disgusting. No, that shit rule. The that's good. Yeah, stuff, if you want to clean your colon stuff, out, it's perfect. No, I the love good Bailey's. like high end, not Bailey's, but like Bailey's is as high end as it is. Yeah, there's no, no, no high there's, end no, Bailey's, no, dude. No, no, no everything is. else is worse. There's always like Murphy's, not Murphy's. There's a few. Dude, Brady's. this liquor store in my old in my in my in my neighborhood, like from home, sells like this stuff that's from Ireland, from like some old farms or something. It's like this. It's the it, dude. It fucking no. rules. Yeah, it's like getting there's a no, fucking. It's like eggnog. Yeah, there's no, there's no old, doesn't rule. There's no. There's <laughs> no. Like there, no, it's disgusting. There's no old Irish farm. Let them go, dude. Bullshit Let them that, fire off. They just branded it in such a way that you think it's premium. No, I'm not. I, <laughs> He's upset. I got it. I got it. He's upset. He's got so my mother, my mother's mo when he when she came home from like night nursing, yeah. she would have a bowl of cereal at this little center table that was. Against the uh, the corner of a wall, right? Yeah. So we put the thirty pack. I put the thirty pack underneath the table because I couldn't put it in the fridge just in case she came home. Yeah. She comes down the steps. I scurry up the steps trying to get Mama, this fucking yeah 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 <laughs> trying to get. She's like Tom, trying to get this thirty pack out of the kitchen into maybe the living room or something. I just got to yeah. hide it. Yeah. Didn't work. She knew what I was up to. There's no reason I would introduce. My mom to six friends and then fuck off. Yeah. She's like, where's he going? Yeah. So she quickly follows me up the steps. Of course. I bail on the whole thing. Like, I can't move the 30 pack. Come back downstairs. Everyone's like, what, what, what are we doing? What are we doing? One more one. And I'm like, just finish your beer and then we'll put it in this little alleyway and then we'll find we're, we're fine. In my head, I'm like, she's going to kick the beer. She's going to sit down at this table. She's going to have her cereal <laughs> and her scrubs. She's going to kick the fucking 30 bird. Sure enough, I you can t- you, you you know your mother or your father's tone. Yeah, she's like, yeah. Tom, come here. And I was oh, like, no. and everyone went. That's not a good. She didn't hit you with a Thomas. <laughs> no, she didn't hit with the Thomas. That's my dad. My dad hits Thomas and then he oh, pulls the belt oh. out. Dude. So Chris I, Tom, Thomas and running. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stole. Full name. No, one hundred percent. She brings us all upstairs. <laughs> this is the most embarrassing moment of my childhood. <laughs> we're thirteen. Okay, whatever. Eighth grade. We're drinking. Yeah. She sits down, all my boys in the living room. She starts handing out pamphlets for AA and oh, giving a speech no. because oh, my brother no. at that time went to AA. Oh, So she was like, we can't Nip have that in the, the house. Yeah. She was like, we had like non-alcoholic fucking mouthwash. We had like, of there was course. no alcohol. My dad's like, son of a bitch. Gene, <laughs> it's not alcohol. that big of a deal. The kid's 18. <laughs> Let him live his life. My mother's like, he's got a disease. 
knees. It's like <laughs> he's fucking eighteen. Yeah. He's, he's getting dude. ripped. There's like all these all these dishes are dirty. It's like no yeah. soap. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's drinking There's too the much soap. alcohol in the soap. Yeah. I've never bought that whole non-alcoholic mouthwash thing. What? Because what, what, you, ta- you taste well, it. Well, if you watch Intervention, no al- people drink uh, it, dude. Listerine is twenty percent alcohol, and then or eighteen. So it's you more can than actually wine. get fucked up. Hundred mm-hmm. percent, dude. There's an episode on Intervention. It's the best one out there. Yeah. It's this chick that only drinks Listerine. Listerine, <laughs> and she, dude. She Lister- passed down the lawn. Yeah. She's a wild bird, yeah. and it's fun Lister- to watch. Listerine and Gatorade is a good little fucking. Oh my god, dude! It's got eight. Look it up. Can you look it up? It's. Yeah. I think it's got like eighteen percent. It's more than wine. A little less than whiskey, which is twenty. I thought you would have to drink proof. like two bottles of that to get fucked. No, up. it's pretty fucking heavy. And the, and the trick is, and they come in. The thing is, you show up looking drunk, but you smell great. <laughs> no, this so is the like, Are you drunk? No. This is yeah. true. No, it's like so what happens is, <laughs> number one. <laughs> you get your eyes all out. How much? It's uh, 26.9%. 26.9%. Oh, my so like, it God. must poison you, though, right? That's 42%. Alcohol. I'm wrong. I had it, no idea. It must poison you, though. Or like 20, you 29. You can't drink it. Twenty. What'd you yeah, say? I, it's twenty six percent. Okay, so that's yeah, like yeah. twelve proof. But it must kill. Yeah, it's the opposite, lot. right? Yeah, it's, like it's a lot. Like that's a, a lot. It's double wine. It, yeah. yeah. And in when you get kicked out po- in prohibition, they would poison alcohol. Like that was like, like yeah, like coke. So that you couldn't drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like fentanyl and coke makes you blind. Yeah. So these these the local alcoholics oh they didn't have obviously they didn't have cars so they would walk into the same and in intervention it's like a small town so everybody knows like here comes fucking Betty yeah yeah <laughs> close the door <laughs> we can't serve you honey she's like ah that's fine so they figured a way around it going if I walk into a CVS or whatever the fuck and I buy mouthwash I can get it in multiples so you can spend ten twelve dollars on three thirty two ounce oh listerines. My. In the middle of nowhere, Goodness. and that'll that'll last you for a few days. So they just get fucking ripped. We, I think that's insane, we gotta do a, We gotta do a home that's alcohol literally, episode where I just I get drunk on random things. Yeah, Listerine. <laughs> I don't mind this. Clorox. Hand would you, would you do a Listerine episode? Hundred yeah. yeah. percent. Would you do a Listerine episode? Why not? It's great. It's, it's great. gonna fuck us up. We yeah. gotta we gotta we gotta set the bed with some milk. <laughs> That's yeah, the, that, that no color. No, that used to be the words of advice when, I, like, from like my sixteen-year-old brother, and like we were twelve. He's like, "Listen, if you want to drink a lot, fill your belly full of milk. If it coats your stomach. You won't, you won't get as drunk." And you, That's and you don't not. Puke. A and we're all just like puking milk. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like the, the <laughs> stuff that they told you was insane. Yeah, he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit, <laughs> dude. Yeah. I got drunk in high school. You want to drink? You want to eat ice cream? Eat like four lemons first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's yeah, contrast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's re-contrasting. Yeah, you're just curling a diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, had, was, we used to buy potato chips, right? And then you would like crunch them up in the bag, and you rub them all over your hands and your face, so that you kind of like smell like fucking potato chips. So you come in drunk. But you're like hammered. And your parents are looking at you. And you're like, I obviously wasn't drinking. I'm yeah, covered yeah. in potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bed. You know, I, something an alcoholic would never yeah. do. I used, to, I, I used to have to. Stop calling child. Yeah. yeah. I used to have to lie just to my potato mother. potato grease yeah. all I taped my a gummy face. bear on my forehead. Look, I was just hanging out at the movie theater. <laughs> I used to have to lie to my mother. Like, because like, they know how you act. You, I'd come in drunk. And then if I was like. I'm very tired. I need to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. They're like, all right, what? Yeah. <laughs> you're obviously yeah, lying. Yeah. So then you'd have to like play this balance of like, can I sit down and yeah, yeah, hang yeah, out yeah. with you guys? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why I would always you come in too fu- professional. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't I was always come in fucked up and go, dad, you want to have a catch out front? <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fucking midnight, you maniac. Yeah. yeah. You want to know how not fucked up anything. I am? Just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Knock into something. Oh, that's just yeah. my hand eye coordination is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's the chips. I ate too many chips. <laughs> we, it's a barbecue chips. I remember we got caught and we got fucked up because what would happen is we would send people into the liquor store for. So we'd just stand outside Same, the liquor yeah. store all night. Yeah. And then you'd be like, hey, anyone that you thought looked cool, yeah. would you go buy a this Yeah. And then some nights though would be a dud. It would get so late that you're like, all right, we got it. So what yeah. we would do is if we were all drinking on Friday, we would go down on Wednesday. And then hopefully get the drinks. Yeah. There. And I remember we got the drinks. We got the drinks. I brought them into my house, put them in my closet. And then we had to get the drinks out on the Friday. Yeah. And then we couldn't get them out. We Like, I was, I had my friends over. We were trying to, I was like, fucking juggle. We were like trying to show my parents. I was like, dude, distract them somehow. And a friend of mine, and then out of nowhere, we're like, it was getting so late. A friend like walks out of the house, but he has like a bag full of cans and his jacket just over them. Oh, He's no. like, I got to go now, guys. Yeah. See? And then I was like, 
We what? <laughs> it's one of those you, did you not have a window in your bedroom? And we did, but it was no like I didn't have a, a twenty pulley system. Yeah, yeah. pulley. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know where you were brought yeah. up in. It was actually bro. It was out you didn't of service. Have a bassinet on yeah. a rope. You didn't <laughs> like one of the hotels where you drop it down. You just tie yeah. a couple shirts together and yeah. fucking like a breaking out of prison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> lay, lay it down. <laughs> <laughs> Your parents come in. Just, go, go, go! Yeah. I've got eight dollars of beer right here, dude. I remember I, I <laughs> was that a dummy waiter, a monkey waiter? What are they called? Yeah, uh, yo, yeah, dumb, dumb waiter. waiter. Yeah, yeah, dude. I, I uh, snuck out of my house once by just dropping out of my bedroom window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You would have been so much you, taller if you didn't do that. Thing. <laughs> you like, did you, did you just jump. You just jumped. Like, my, my, my back will cushion the floor. <laughs> yeah. I, how I tall? How, the, how I long from the window? This is, how far? Know, second rather? story. Damn. And it hung from the window and just dropped. <laughs> but it had it had rained. It had rained recently. <laughs> So and I was dropping into like a like a flower bed. Oh my no! My feet went a foot and a half deep. Oh god! Wait 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 wait! wait, 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 wait. Stuck. Wait 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 wait! And then so like it's like the video when you see a dude like trying to walk in like an inch of dude. sludge <laughs> and he falls all the way down. Yeah, your, dad look, I, your dad looks at the window. You're just like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then I, yeah. Dude, then, He's a garden gnome. Yeah. yeah. Is it me or does that scarecrow move world. a little? Is that scarecrow sinking? <laughs> the next day, we don't have a scarecrow. I went out, I got hammered, came back, like snuck in through the basement or whatever. And then the next day, I just, I like, I woke up, walked downstairs, and saw my dad standing outside, just like looking, <laughs> just trying to looking at out. two footprints that go like, <laughs> like, like, like wily coyote, <laughs> two sides, <seven laughs> yeah. I'm looking in one direction, and then, and then just walks out, yeah, but it was it's like right, right above his bedroom window, <laughs> just not walking in. But they're also just... like, there's no way he jumped out of the window. You yeah, know what I mean? Crazy. It was like he was yeah. like trying to do the math. Yeah, it's yeah. not that that's dumb. Oh, yeah, that's fine. But would you, would you, who was the tough one? Was your dad the tough one or your mom the tough one? Did you guys have that? Um, they were both pretty tough. My yeah. mom, my mom was like, my mom was like Columbo. She like she'd interrogate women, you. And women like, have more passion for that type of stuff. But right? she would set like she would. It was literally like a like a detective interrogation. Like where wow. you, she would set traps. You know what I mean? So like as you were coming up with a lie. To get out of it, she would like kind of know, like yeah. she would, yeah, she'd have a trap set for you so that you'd, you'd make up a lie and she'd be like, well, I thought you would say that. Exactly. And it's, so, it's, it's just a trap to say like, let me question, I know he's caught already. I want to question oh, how much you trust me. Yes. That. She, yeah. she knew you didn't yeah. go to school. And yeah. she, and you now it's about and character she, and integrity. My, my mother, Are you going to yeah, tell me yeah, the truth? Yeah, yeah, she yeah, would make you lunch. trust me? Like, oh, or, come on. For, how was school today? Yeah. 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 And then like. She like, knows she didn't go at all. Yeah, she yeah. caught my brother or whatever. Yeah, I, remember, I remember Dean yeah. there with my brother going, and I'm like trying to tell him. I was like, she knows, she knows. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. he was seen by a neighbor or something, you know what I mean? Not at school. And she sits down and has a nice big warm meal for him. Oh, yeah, yeah. How was school? Yeah, yeah. you're enjoying that? And he's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and and I, if, I had to tell him was like, and then he had to just go. Oh God, I didn't go in. <laughs> yeah, and if you were watching that scene in a movie, you'd be like, "Who's the more fucked up one right, here?" Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The Entrapment. woman who made him a nice meal to let him just spin some fucking yarn. Yeah, just to let just, him lie. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. So, so there's more reason for you to hate him. Yeah. Well, the truth is too is like people always still do. They'll they'll spin it down and go, "Well, it's the lying that got me." It was like, well. Well, I'm just going, oh, yes, I didn't do what I was yeah. told. Fuck that. Yeah. Isn't that a natural protected behavior you gotta as a lie. child? It's this like, is, this yeah, I'm going to fucking even lie. Even as an adult, you. lie through your teeth. Fuck that. It's yeah. like, no well, what are we to doing your tax, no What way. are we doing here? Yeah, absolutely. My whole purpose not. of lying you is so I can enjoy my life at this age. For sure. Without you harboring all over my fucking shit. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I wake up, you tell me I got to get up. You tell me what I can eat. You tell me what I could do. I'll fucking lie yeah. forever. Of course. To enjoy a little bit of freedom. Of course. This is my fucking Cancun vacation every weekend. <laughs> Friday to Saturday, I'm taking a trip, ma. You got nothing on me. And you'll never fucking know. Sometimes. You I'm, might find out. I think the best, when I remember growing up with my brother, there was like Creamfields, which was like this touring electro music bullshit thing from like the 90s, 2000s. And it was just full of pills and everyone went nuts. And my, my, my brother was like, can I go? All my friends are going. And my mom's like, absolutely not. You're yeah. 15 years old. There's no fucking way you're doing this. Yeah. And he's like, okay. He's like, are you sure? And she's like, no. And he's like, please, can I go? And he's like, absolutely. And then he was like, all right, go. And I'm going to the store. And then, he, and then he's like, rings her. He's like, 
So I went to the festival. <laughs> he like rang it like yeah, yeah. immediately. It's like I'll see you when I see you. Anyway, good luck. <laughs> like, it was like it was like a, uh, she, had, she had to sort of go. Huh? Yeah, I, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I guess he's when he gets home. I also respect. <laughs> yeah, that I can't is, imagine that's like Putin the, in Ukraine. Yeah, like <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm doing it. Yeah, so. it's uh, it's already over. Yeah. yeah, I can't imagine the struggle of like having a child, knowing. Like I talked to my dad about this in later in life, where it's like he always gave us a little more rope. But he was also a disciplinarian. My yeah. mother had a less rope disciplinarian. She was like your parents were. It's like yeah. they both were tough. But my dad understood that like you, certain things need to happen in a childhood's adolescence where it's yeah. like you're learning more in these times where you let them go. Let them get fucking punched in the face on a playground. Yeah. Let them go discover what a drug is. But at the same time, you can't be that lenient parent going, let them get fucked up in the basement. Yeah, yeah. Because then they there's, become. There's a real, there's yeah. a I've real... had so many. Yeah. So the I, I can't imagine. I don't have children, so I can't. I can't say what's right or wrong. Sure. But I also would be like, you got to expose them to these elements so they become an actual person. I think that can stick up for themselves or experience things. My uh, this is way off topic, real quick. But like my one of my best friends, my best friend is a uh, ATF agent, and to get through the the process. You can't do drugs mm -hmm. a certain amount of times. You can't experience a certain amount of fights. You can't do all this shit. So the field that he has to exist in are pencil pushing fucking dorks that have never been through anything. Yeah. And they expect him to like break into these fucking gangs and like these, oh, these yeah, worlds yeah. that like, yeah. dude, we see you. I hear you. We fucking see yeah, you. Yeah, you showed up because, wow, that was good drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Who yeah. here's got nose beers? Hey, I yeah. love doing hardcore <laughs> class A's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the mustache yeah. is like falling sideways. Yeah. It's like, we get it. We get it. Boy, was that some yummy narcotics. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's crazy to think you could go to jail for 10 or 15 years. Oh, I just, I, like just, yeah. I, just I just love pussy. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm always getting Dude, pussy. It's yeah. wild to think that like at a high level of, of our government agencies, like it's like a Scooby-Doo episode where it's like, yeah. dude, the, the real the reality of like, raising a child i can't imagine but like that would be my biggest struggle it's like when do i let him go to that festival when do i let him go to that concert because yeah. i had all that shit with an older brother that was a maniac so mm. i did one of the pink floyd concert like fucking seventh or eighth grade where i was doing whippets and fucking drugs and shit too much yeah but bit. she didn't know that but you're fine yeah i'm fine I think. Look at this. I think <laughs> I don't, the, there's not a single thing wrong with yeah, me. What are you I think, about? I think you got to get the big blue I, concert. It is early. tough. You I also think, forget that parents have watched you evolve as a liar. You know what I mean? Because you start lying when you're like, as soon as you can talk. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Of course. Of yeah. course. No, I mean it just that's, that's just human nature. Yeah. If you it's watch like, your father, you go, all right, yeah, okay, yeah, those yeah. are not be truthful. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. So they've seen you like lie about stuff that's like you you don't even know how much they know right about you as a right. liar yeah. it's right. like i saw you lying when you were three they just yeah. know you're a i don't suck my and finger it, and it i don't suck my finger yeah yeah yeah, yeah. while your teeth are coming like, out did you just shit on the floor <laughs> was that you shitting on the floor <laughs> what it could have been anyone that could have been dad it could have been you I don't know. <laughs> dude you signed your name in shit <laughs> It's so funny because like my my nephew and my dad are very close. Like, and my dad always has like some type of like if you know you're working with like power tools or you're doing something, he'll like, and someone gets hurt or anytime someone gets hurt, they always have like a rule. It's like that's why you don't, you know, yeah, touch fire or whatever. Medicine. Yeah, that's why we don't stop so, ourselves. So what happened the the other day? I was home. And uh, my nephew like had to piss, so he was like he, he couldn't, he didn't piss. He was just running around crazy. And uh, my niece, like who's her, his older sister, had her like hand on the ground, and he stepped on her hand. <laughs> your your <laughs> dad stepped on your no, no, he just stepped on her hand because he was being just like you know an ignoramus. And. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he was just. <laughs> <the rain>. <laughs> <laughs> it's what? been an easy twenty five years. What, what year was this? Huh, by the way, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a real ignoramus. He was a real scrutumagooch. He was real nonchalant <laughs> about <laughs> these hands. cats and kittens. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Dude, he steps. He steps on her hand. She's like, <laughs> "Ow!" Like freaks out. You he know? pissed himself. No, he didn't piss himself. But he goes, "Well, that's why you don't put your hands on the floor." <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> like he, like, a real he was like using <laughs> That's a psycho. my yeah yeah that my kid's gra- my nut, my dad dude. sort of like yeah yeah, yeah. he was like well you shouldn't have had your hand on the floor like that that's why we don't put our hands on the floor <laughs> <laughs> it's like, so funny. coming from a four year old oh you're like God. Jesus Christ yeah, <laughs> yeah fucking, that's not a rule dude, don't put your hands on it like, flash, flash forward fucking? to him at like twenty <laughs> punching a bartender that's why your face should be near my fist <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is a bar people throw punches. <laughs> <laughs> you don't uh, lean over boy, the bar boys we're gonna wrap it up now yes We've been here. thank you so much for swinging by everybody yeah, check out Stuff Island I was on it everyone's been on it it's the fastest growing podcast in the New York comedy scene oh. so you guys are on to something you guys are on to something well soon. we have a very we have a nice tight knit circle of friends that use fucking fake words <laughs> yeah <laughs> and so we get a lot of support ignorant. thank you this Real is ignorant. Ignorant. Yeah. Yeah. yeah thank you guys for coming out is that yeah, as you want to plug other than the podcast uh, dude I, I know. you know no. we're gonna be no. doing some road dates you we're guys doing... going on the road together uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah nice oh by the way I told you about the the festival in Vermont that I'm organizing and by festival it's just oh, gonna be like two nights of us yeah, all yeah, getting yeah. fucked up that's a festival we're doing yeah. it we're, we're doing it I'm, yes I we are you. it's gonna yeah. be awesome yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So, no, just yeah. hit up the uh, Instagram, YouTube, It'll subscribe, and fucking mm. go go to our Patreon. We got a lot of fucking food stuff. Nice coming up. We're doing food, two food episodes a month. Gotta make me something. Yeah. I'll make you some. Yeah, we'll you want to come some. on the next app? Yeah, yeah. and our French dip. You want to come too? Oh. I'll, come oh. I'll, I'll definitely show up. You want a French dip? I don't know. Something oily. Is that what you're into? What I, if I did I like a, a French dip. I could recreate. I think you made Irish, me a French dip in the past. I could do that's an Irish I, dish for you. Like what? what? What are you into? Ba- corn bangers beef. and mash? There's only no, one. No one corn beef. Eats. Shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie Ooh. is the shit. Cottage pie, lamb, if you like that. I like that. I don't like pies. You got to go lamb with the shepherds, right? That's beef a, is well, that's a dog cottage. shit. Shepherds and That's a, a shortcut. That's a shortcut for fucking Queen's bars. That's what they it go, is. Oh, yeah, it's beef. <laughs> it's, it it's fucking ground beef. Uh-uh. Not a shepherd's. Well, nice, shepherd's comes nice with lamb. Sausage sandwich is what we grow up on. I'll make you sausage sandwich. Just don't even toast the bread. Just a couple of sausages, cut down lengthways, bang. All that's right. it. You're yeah, not, you're not invited good. anymore, dude. That was <laughs> disgusting. Well, I, fuck you. I, I'm going to do my own fucking cooking show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where I, this, <laughs> this was called a Pringles dude, sandwich. Yeah. Every episode is just yeah. a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> I just pictured just, just dude, instead of Chris and I here, there's just two rats waiting for you to finish your cooking. <laughs> <laughs> I have like a real life hat and a hat going. Like a real life hat. <laughs> rat. Yeah, yeah. Fucking tell me what to do. Rat tattoo. He's biting me. Like, Come on. <laughs> I know you have recipes in there. Come on, the fuck. Yeah. An Irish rat tattoo remake would be unbelievable. <laughs> it's a bad job. There's just a drunk yeah. making fucking cheese and sandwiches. Yeah, you had uh, some Pringles and your fucking uh, hot sauce. I'm not drunk, ma. It's just, <laughs> one, yeah. drunk. it's just one scene. The rat makes a recommendation. <laughs> Add some flavor to the recipe that gets killed. Yeah, yeah. Go, going exactly. somewhere yeah. else. Yeah, yeah. It would, it would just be Instead recipes. Instead of mayonnaise, yeah. what if you used an aioli? Ever heard salt? So this next yeah. dish will really sober you up fast <laughs> if you're in a hurry. Okay? <laughs> so what you're not going to need is it's a full loaf milk. of bread. <laughs> 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 no, and if you fo- if you watch the previous episodes, you are already full of milk. So this should be a real get out of jail free card. <laughs> what you do is you grind up some potato chips. <laughs> Let them soak in milk. Yeah. yeah. If you have a rolling pin, on your yeah. face. if you have a rolling pin, that helps. But you can just yeah. smash it against any hard yeah. surface. If you're right? looking to hide the listerine in your mouth, <laughs> get a dollop of listerine. <laughs> One for me. <laughs> for me. Dude, let's get listerine. Fun. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If we, yeah, no, we could do it. I, if we should do a Listerine episode. I'll fucking. I'll like, do fine. shots of Listerine. That'd be dude. fun. As I'll do it. As long as, 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 long as it was I think it's a great time. I think we'll do a Listerine episode. Did you say that it makes you go blind? Uh, that's no. like uh, wood alcohol. Oh, oh, oh yeah, wood yeah, alcohol, yeah, yeah. methanol. Or that's something. what they used yeah. to do during Prohibition. They were prohibition, poison, yeah. like the working alcohol. Okay, yeah, yeah. Drinking. Okay, but Listerine. Well, poison. Listerine, mm-hmm. you can get fucked up on and you're fine. I think it's just I, I, That's not what... No one said that. No one said that. You can't say that. No one said you get fucked up and be fine. Yeah. They wouldn't even say that about vodka. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not why Listerine. Yeah. 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 That'd be a mixologist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> little bit of it. little bit of it. What is that? What is that? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, yeah. imagine. It's Listerine. Yeah. The almond grated on yeah, top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. A little, a little yeah, orange light, peel. Light burn, light a, orange. burn an orange yeah, peel yeah. onto it. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. You put Dude. it under one of those things with smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I, hate to tie it. <laughs> I hate to tie this all in, but creme de mint. The liqueur oh, is yeah. just milk and Listerine, dude. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> it's, and it's very popular. Let's do a creme de mint. Episode. Let's do a fucking homemade right, creme de mint. Honestly, guys, thank you so much. Yeah, I love thanks, you, man. I appreciate you coming yeah. out. Paint Absolutely. this fucking place, will you? <laughs>